Radio check one and two, one and two. How's everybody doing tonight? Let's see if we've got this sorted. I'm gonna try to get this live. I'm, it's an older game and I'm not 100% sure if we've got it all working right. Let's see. Come on, loady load, let's go. Ha <laughs> there it is. All right, let's uh, double check to make sure we're live. It says it's live, let's see what's going on. This is live for one minute and 11 seconds. I had to go back in and force force it to you know, re reset the whole live stream. I had it all timed up and... Yeah, I had it all set and it wasn't... Uh, didn't want to do its thing, so... Just be a few moments here while I make sure everything's all sorted. There we go, it looks like we have a live action video. Nope, that is not live. I'm not showing it as live. What is going on, people? If anybody's in there, let me know. I'm... Video is showing that it's not live, but now it's showing live with mod pack. Oh, there we go. There we go. Now we're we're now we're hitting live. Oh, I see. Oh, whoa, whoa. Slow down, Mr. Microphone Duplicate. Tree Melon's bot running. Oh, good. Finally. Good. All right. Just going to wait for a few people to show up here and uh, get things sorted. Be back in just but a moment. Well, this is how we start live stream with the crazy world going on. How's everybody doing tonight? I this is this is overdue by about 15 years, you know, three times as long as I've live streamed. I mean, done content. Um, I uh, let's let's go down memory lane. I played the original. Well, I played Civ One, but this is Civ Four. I played the original Colonization, which was I think based on the Civ Two build originally. So. Uh, we got a variety of different options. If you hit play now, you get your standard uh, Civ 4 side of options where you can go with the you know Dutch colonies, choose your group, and so on. I'm going to back it up one step and actually do the custom game. So we're going to go with uh, the options to choose. Uh, which one do we want to go with? I think we'll go with Stovescent. Uh, he gives a uh, particular bonus. We're going to go Conquistador, which is kind of middling, middle of the road. Revolutionary Hardest and Pilgrim Easiest. So we're going to go Conquistador setting. Um, I suppose this game came out early enough in history that... Uh, alliances. Two colonies can form from alliances for the rest of the game. Uh, I don't like that idea. Uh, new random seed and load. Independence, domination, industrialize, industrialization, all as end game options. So basically industrialization. In this mod, this is the We the People mod. Uh, the industrialization mod adds... Uh, absolute crap ton of stuff so remove the ability to enter world builder yeah okay finally only when colonist learning per native village village at any, at any one time after each of the next colonist can be trained neither here nor there as far as i'm concerned uh reduce colony distance minimum distance other colonies by one Players already owns founding plot. Not sure how that works. Um, no sea animals, no wild animals. Yeah, no, no, I'm going to leave all this on. Random events and all the rest of it. 
Um, yeah, let's uh, let's get it going. It's a it's a very simple, straightforward game. Uh, hopefully, this is working for uh, things and stuff. I'm gonna actually take a few few seconds to update this link because there's clearly something amiss right now. Give me a second here, and uh, something's gone awry here. Okay, there we go. That's did the thumbnail. That's better. Man, I tell ya, life's been fun. Welcome though. Welcome to the to the stream. Uh, and now, like I just I just updated something, and I've got a blank dead screen that won't reload. <laughs> Come on, Gabe. Come on, computer. You can do it. Uh, I changed some things around about every well, a ton of things in the background here. I'm I've redesigned my entire entire office and everything, so everything's kind of all up up the wazoo right now. So. Apologies, first live stream in the new setup, and uh, and I'm not 100% sure sure that everything is following its proper behavior. Link. Hopefully that one works for the Discord. And there you go. All right, so close that down. Get rid of some things, make sure everything's running and rocking and rolling the way it's supposed to. Out of the way, we got uh, Peter Stuyvesant, who's going to be our uh, fine quality dude, who's going to do all the smart stuff and and uh, get us an amazing colony to take over the world, the new world. Uh, but actually, probably not, so. Dead meats in the house. Mm -hmm. Colonization. Going back in time, I say, oh, absolutely, it's nostalgia day. Hello, everyone, welcome back, Drake, how are you? Well, Steg, I am doing great. How's Scotland today? All right, so we are back, well, this is colonization, uh, civilization for colonization. Um, and Civ 4 had a number of versions. It was, uh, it was really a broad collection of things, but we have, um, we had the colonization and it was, a, it was an okay game. It's an interesting idea, but it had a lot of problems. And uh, the developer, the modders for this, have gone absolutely through the roof with with coolness. They've done a lot to the game. So we have, uh, unfortunately, the font is going to be a little unpleasantly small. Same every day raining. <laughs> well, if you don't have snow yet, actually, we don't have snow yet, which is weird. Because last year this time, my wife's got pictures of last year this time we had. And uh, our little one walking around in her snowsuit through three inches of snow in the field behind our house, our old house. So. Uh, okay, or I guess that's two years ago. So we start with three units. We start with a ship. It's a flute, a Dutch flute. It's only two things I can't stand. People who are intolerant of other people's cultures. And the Dutch. Just kidding. Um, Peter Stuyvesant, Dutch colonies. We have the mercantile civilization trait, and we have administrative and capitalist as our character. Um, we start with a settler in this particular mod. I'm just going to assume that I'm not even going to try to compare the differences between the two. So, and the Dutch, exactly, dead meat, exactly. Uh, and so the game starts. There's all immediately new things going on here that we haven't, we wouldn't see normally. There's weather on the open seas, cloudiness, pop-ups like this, a dream of fame and glory. It's awesome. Just a moment ago, there we were sitting on the deck, uh, sitting at a desk by candlelight, pouring over old parchment that whispered of unknown lands and faraway shores. A vision appears, sights and sound. Every everyday life fades away. Night, black, darkness, and silence stuns your senses. You see yourself on a coast far from home. You stand surrounded by your men. You hear your voice claiming this wilderness as your own. An ensign, uh, an ensign plants your flag in the soil of this new world, and a devout churchman thanks the Creator for letting you discover it. You realize that this is the path predestined for you, the path that will write your name in the annals of history, I know, it's annals, but it's more fun to say it the other way. Uh, so, so for the thousand years or more, every child will see your name as a symbol of bravery. Uh, as the vision fades away, you understand what you must do in the morning. All right, so here we are. We're on the, on the, 
Well, we're approaching the east coast of something. Through stormy weather, apparently. And uh, we just get to sail around here. We got our dude here. I can click on him, and there's like some commands and constructions. I can send them back to Europe. In this one, you can send them to uh, Europe or Africa. They've got multiple ports. So we have the European ports, where we can trade and do things. And we've got the African ports, where we can trade and do things. There is slavery in this one. There is piracy. There is is native interactions and all sorts of politically incorrect modern things. But, you know, if we can play Grand Theft Auto, we can probably play a colonization game. Um, somebody actually plays this game? Man, I haven't played this. I, I, I played this game on and off for years, and I it's been so long, and I found this mod, like, yesterday, and I thought, man, I got it. I got it. I got to bring the clan along for this fun. Um... The, the graphics might be better. I'm running at uh, 1080, which is something you couldn't do in the original. Ah, land ho! A new world! Ah, call comes in from the crow's nest. So, we got a couple options. I'm going to select this and this. So, this gives us the yields. Um, I'm not... I'm so new to this, I don't even know all the yields. So, uh... Cash in the top left, we got a whole bunch of controls up here. We got, uh, domestic advisors and, and trips to Europe. And then there's, like... The, the, the goal, I guess, is to revolt from the king and uh, create a new colony. we got the Continental Congress here, but of course we have nobody in it. Uh, that is determined by the Founding Fathers. There are five categories of Founding Fathers. Exploration Founding Fathers, and there's a ton of them. That's the Exploration Group. <laughs> Blackbeard. <laughs> of course you want Blackbeard as a Founding Father. What the heck? Uh, religious uh, Founding Fathers, uh, Jean de Brebeau. And uh, a lot of them as well, all the way down to Miguel Hidalgo. I don't know who half of these people are. I don't know if they're actually, any of these are like, how many of these are actually founding fathers and whatnot, but BRB need coffee, forgot you were streaming, so not ready. I wasn't streaming today. Well, I, I wasn't planning to originally, so I'm gonna I get as many streams in as I can. Adam Smith, doubles production speed of ironworks, tool factories, great tool factories, arsenals, and great arsenals. No idea what all those are. Well, vague idea what all those are. But so as you um as you go through, there's like there's military ones as well. So this guy would give us a Chevaux de Frise. I don't know if I'm pronouncing anything badly or what. It's a it's a palisade or it's a stockade around the around the camp. It just happens to be the name of the one that we have here, or it's always named that. I don't know. We have Pocahontas, who is actually she's kind of pointless because she's really good if you could get her right away, but it's two thousand political points to do so. So you earn these various different points, exploring and and doing religiousy things and trade things and military things and political things, and you get these points and you uh, can spend them uh, and on you know different people then try to convince these people to join your um, your Congress basically your founding fathers list, and uh, the problem is uh, we'll quickly find out we're not alone, not just not alone as in there's other uh, locals. Uh, natives in the area, but there's also um, other Europeans vying for authority and power and whatnot. And I may totally restart. I, I haven't, I haven't decided if this is the, uh, the for sure start or not. We'll we'll have an, a little bit of an explore and see what we can find. Uh, but yeah, basically we go around and just explore the world, find what uh, a decent place to settle. I've got my settler on board still. Ah, that's what I was looking for. A community of uh, locals to find. This is the. Okeke tribe. Uh, the yellow there that you saw was was it suggesting that those might be nice spots for us to settle. This is our uh, dragoon. As the uh, Dutch, we start with a dragoon. He's actually a free colonist, but he's in dragoon mode, so he's got weapons and mounted. He's just not a well-trained military dude. And this person down here is our settler. This is a an actual settler unit, so it's a master carpenter who's got the tools and. I forget what it is, like tools and horses and something else to get him equipped. So, uh, so in this one, uh, Mook, the the basic just is in this version. Um, there's solid incentives to um, to various different ways of dealing with that. So. Uh, there we go. We discovered some valuable artifacts there. There's a looks like there's a campfire up here with this on. It's hard to see these things. So this is uh, the Muska tribe up here. Uh, this is Muska tribe territory. First natives have been met. 
Lovely, now we can speak with them. We can speak with their chief. This is Hauch. Stranger, you could learn from us. Expert hemp planters. Excellent. And they need cloth. That's a little strange. But he gave us a pearl necklace worth 214 bucks. So we actually got that cash on hand now. So we could go back to Europe, for instance, over here. And we could hire some, some peoples. Ooh, an expert lumberjack. Well, that's really good, actually. Um, but uh, we could also tell our free colonist. Now, this is a carpenter, so our other dude. We could tell a free colonist or a whatever to spend time here and learn to become expert hemp planters. And hemp is used, of course... Uh, it's not smoked. That's that's not that's not the particular type of hemp we're focused on here. The musica, very loud musica. Try. Um. Oh, what the heck? We just got a free colonist out of that group. Well, there you go. I don't mind if I do. Um. Not a bad start. Okay, so this is actually looking like it might be a decent spot over here. We got a tobacco uh, plants, a, a natural tobacco plant production spot. Oh, that's desert. So it might produce something useful. We'll see. We'll explore around a little bit more. See what there's a river. There's some hemp uh, production over there. Uh, in this particular mod, you get the option to have... Uh, I'm going to put this guy back on the boat. Oh, no. Wait, what? Did you... Oh, the boat moved after. It was just a little, like, a uh, wily coyote moment there for a second. Ah, we have some, some wreckage we can send our ship to. Um, so basically all these different resources give bonuses on the map, and in this mod, uh, your towns are Civ style, where they're actually, normal Civ style, where they're actually, like, two tiles away from the center, versus the normal colonization, which is, uh, just the center and the immediate surrounding tiles. And it's got some music. I don't know if it's great music, but it's got some music. Looks like it's getting a little cold down here. That is a hostile unit. There's a there's a hemp plant farm. Uh, we got some cacti over here for some extra food. More deer for hunting possibilities. We could have something over here as well. Get this guy in here and uh, peacefully enter the village. Because he's a military unit. You have to inform him that time. The chief is... Oh, these are expert hunters. And they're interested in wine. And they gave us some rock crystals worth 100 bucks. Okay, so if we wanted to, we could get this person... For instance, this is a hunting spot. If we were settling there, we could get this person to become go in here and spend a few seasons uh, learning the trade of expert hunters. Uh, okay, there's a treasure. We've unearthed the treasure, 919 bucks. Problem with these is that we need a galleon, a genuine big gold ship we don't have to get there. I'm feeling uh, not spectacular with this map. I'm going to give it a restart. We're going to do. We're going to pop right back to the main menu. We're going to go again. Same old standards. We're going to pick uh, the same dude. Same settings are in here. We're just going to hit launch. It's a super fast reload, so I'd like to get a decent start. So We'll probably do this a couple times until we find what we want. Hello. Dreams again. All right. There's some uh, New World lands right there. So I'll try to do not too, too much of the repetitive uh, conversation gambits here, but won't tutorial the crap out of everything. Uh, we met the Navajo and got 88 bucks from the spot we just found. Uh, let's move up here and go into Tsinitat, the village. Uh, we can talk to this guy and tell him to talk to them about, oh, expert miners, give us a little cash bonus. We can also, from with our ships, we can trade with them. So we're going to say fur and red peppers would be lovely. And they'll charge us 217 bucks to get a 64 red pepper and uh, 58 fur. There's a lot more resources in this version. We're going to accept that. This is where we're going to make a ton of money doing this. So expert miners would be interesting, but I don't really know the lay of the land yet all at all. So we got an ore deposit there. We got some hunting up here and some fishing there. Now, this is actually coastal. The tower this guy's on, so it might not be a terrible spot. Um, we're going to take that boat out and hop over here. Met our first friends. Uh, let's see. 253. Okay, not bad. Good cash hit there. And uh, maps on the shipwreck. Well, that was 
That was a very unsuccessful ship. Oh, actually, he's up there. There is some territory up there. Oh, another shipwreck here. Gain some experience. Okay, that's super potent for this ship. Or for this unit. Very, very good. Uh, at the beginning of his next turn, he'll get the to use that XP. So here we go. The reason that's so awesome is because the first promotion, the first two promotions, which you get from this, is Navigation 1 gives visibility range for the boat and movement range. And uh, then the next one is another movement range. So now we can go, uh, we get a max movements of six instead of four. Super powerful. Okay, we got a cornfield up here. That might be something useful. We have a uh, campfire here. Take this settler and I can pop him in there. Oh, yes. Free unit? I don't mind that at all. A military unit, a conquistador. Excellent. Okay. Let's go talk to the Tachi. I can actually leave the boat. Th oh. Hold on. Hunting, hunting. Got some sugar plantation, or some sugar swamps here. Some peppers over here. We are going to end up encroaching on their... On their Business. Actually, I'm going to leave the boat here. We're going to grab uh, that extra dude. He's going to head over. There is a hostile unit here. We're going to fight him. Pew, 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 pew. Come on. Come on. Uh, much better balance as far as the military. Oh, my goodness. That was a good treasure there. They were hoarding it. Very nice. Uh, we'll bring this uh, treasure group up through here. Hopefully, they don't get picked off by wild animals. Which are a clear and present danger, an ever-present danger in this version. Uh, okay, so this guy needs to go onto the boat. This boat needs to go over to here. And it looks like we have a... Ooh, ooh that might be tough. Okay, hold on. You pop into the onto the shore here. Let you wait for the next turn. Ah, we got some XP for our friend. He's going to also get Explorer. That'll give him a little more mobility. Let's see what's down this way. There you go. Substantial better. Sitting bowl of the Sioux. Uh, we're going to come in here in a peaceful manner. Yes, we're running around with the giant shiny swords. Totally con peaceful conquistadors. That's how we roll. Oh, right. Conquistadors are a military unit. They cannot go speak with the chief. That is not a, a thing. Now, that's interesting. This is a suggested spot, which is actually okay. Yeah. I have mobility here. Anybody got some mobility to get us a little more vision? There's a there's a hemp farm there. We got a cor corn farm here. We don't know what's inland here. I think we might end up finding this is a great spot. Okay, there's also uh, some lumber here. Whatever's over here is going to make a big difference. Okay, let's see what we can get. There's the... Sp is that Spanish? The Spaniards! Oh, that's unfortunate. Now, let's head into this village. Isabella. They have mounted conquistadors. They have a special uh, caravella. It's a different... <laughs> it's a different... Uh, uh, it's a different ship than I run. I run the flute, they have the caravella. What's the caravella like? The top. Um, units. Caravella. There, caravella redonda. This, oh, it's a three cargo. Okay. Can't enter large rivers or freshwater lakes. Interesting. Um, more or less cargo space than the Carex. Faster and more maneuverable. Slightly stronger than the Caravel and the Flute. Also have the ability to attack other units. Oh. Okay. So they have a bit of guns on them. They're Spanish. They would do that. And then the caravels are cargo of two. And then there's the flute, which is the cargo of... Uh, um, is the one I've got. Cargo three, slightly less strength. So there's 22. And the redonda is 22. Oh, it's, it shows similar numbers. Let's see what, the, what these guys can trade with us. Well, we have... Oh, rock salt. Yes, please. Rock salt and fur. What do you want for this? 162 bucks. Lovely. Okay, we're going to head straight out this way. You're going to come down and uh, visit these peaceful, peacefully visit these fine folk. And they're going to give us a map of the surrounding area, aren't they? Hmm. 
Tell your stories about our homeland and refresh your spirits. All right. Well, I'd rather XP or rather like a whack ton of cash, but okay. Giant trees. Huh. Well, there's some cattle over there, some furs over there. Nice. This game really opportunity gives more opportunity than the original. Um, okay. Expert in indigo. So the indigo is your is your dye. I'm gonna give him a chance to uh, heal up there. Not alone. Mm-hmm. Little exploration there. Um, discovered a treasure. Okay, there is an oasis there. Oh yeah, that's see, that's a nice spot. If we go on this corn spot. How much food are we gonna get out of that? I'm curious if this is like a. Okay, if we settle there, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna quick save that. I wanna, I'm curious. I have no idea how this works. New Amsterdam. Oh, there's a village in there. Let's examine the village. Okay, so it's producing... Oh, it's producing quite a lot. That's seven? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it produces... Gotta be seven there, yeah? Uh, hard to see, but... It's eight. The center is producing eight food. Normally it's like five. So that's pretty hefty. And plus a bunch of cotton, five a turn. That's not bad. I think we'll stick with that. This uh, our master carpenter is going to uh, sit in here and uh, he's going to work on the village hall. But first he's got to go collect some timber because he's all alone. There's widow little lonesomes. Bringing in the treasures already. Ooh. A whaling location not far from home. Like it. All right, we're going to send this guy back to Europe with all the goodies that he just purchased. Most of our initial or early transactions with the natives will be um, teaching us how to do, um, how to learn things and, and hanging out with them and getting presents of ra random gems and jewels to try to gather as much cash as we can, build our exploration experience, and, uh, um, and also work on, um, also work on a lot of trade with them. I'm going to go ahead with the, um, we're going to go with the... Well, this is basically the, the men give a vow to whatever, and you get this in the, when you settle your first village in this mod, and uh, you get to pick either to boost the the crosses, uh, the Liberty Bells, or the base camp. I'm going to click Liberty Bells because I want to see if... Hold on. Examine the settlement. We currently make zero Liberty Bells. Right? And uh, if we click this... Um, all right, because of our dude, we start with a free market. This, this little spot here, which is basically useless right now, except for the fact that it boosts our happiness and it boosts culture. It doesn't do the commercial work yet. That one Liberty Bell, is that going to add to our founding father's uh, politics? Let's start at five. I'm going to, I'm going to reload, this, reboot this. So click and turn and we got 15 now. Okay, and then I'm going to go back and quickly load that. I'm curious. Um, curious if this uh, gives us the bonus. So if this guy is here now, we're going to settle again. Yeah, up to them. That's with the village center. All right, and move that in here. You're going to be told to go to Europe. End the turn, and it's going to give us this event. Then if I go with the the crosses, again, we're at five political points developed right now. I'm not sure if Liberty Bells actually generate political points, or I forget how that works exactly. So I want to know for sure. Well, let's shut this. What is this? Control Y? Toggle yields? Okay. So we'll, I guess that makes sense. Y for yields. Because I want to be able to see, like, um, special packs, so. There we go. I'll go up in here. Little ground. This is a cattle spot, which would be very valuable for us. We can get that in here. So, did we end the first turn? No, we didn't end the turn yet. 
Okay, so that is, okay, yeah, it's five per, okay, that's a big deal. Um, well, is it that big of a deal? So what happens with crosses is each cross uh, generated increases the emigration from Europe. So you get these, this is the next four potential uh, people that'll join us. Uh, when we build up this 15 crosses, Hello, seagulls. When these 15 crosses gets full, one of these guys is pushed to the docks for free. and uh, Or we can go in here and purchase really expensive units. Uh, or we could pa cash pay to get these, to pick whichever one of these we wanted. Like, if we wanted an evangelist, which is the the uh, Dutch version of the, the preachers, the uh, missionaries, we could, we could do that, or we could do the farmer, or whatever. Um... Yeah, I think I'm thinking we'll we'll definitely go do the Liberty one. So let's go there. Let's do the Liberty Bell one. I haven't done it before, and I'm quite sure that'll be helpful for us. So settle there, village. You go into town. You go into town. You um whatever. This guy can go go to Europe. End the turn. There we go. Uh, we'll go with the Liberty Bells. We could go with food. Of course, that's the other option, but... I'm gonna actually tell these guys to not go home. So I could send them home to Europe, but I would only get half the cash value. These 988 bucks, that might be very valuable early on. It might be worth doing. We'll see if we get the opportunity to get a Galleon at some point. Because three of these already uh, would be quite the hefty amount of cash so far. Let's go ahead with a bit of a repeated explore. I'm trying to remember if this is the path we took last time, something like that. There we go. All right, let's keep exploring. Game gets uh, rapidly more complex as it goes, this version. You can go ahead and uh, hold up there. Clear for Oxy. And turn, there's the boat back to Europe. Okay, so for those purchases that we made, I didn't write them down how much we got, but uh, I know it was like maybe a third of what we just got there. That was almost a thousand bucks we just got. Now we have 1300 bucks. Well, we could buy some things directly with that. We have 1343, so we can't quite get the prospector. Uh, we could get a lumberjack. We get an expert fisherman. Miners. Stone cutters. There's a ton of things. Pearl hunters. Um. Blacksmiths, gunsmiths, fur traders, tanners, carpenters, cabinet makers, brewers, distillers, vintners, weavers, dyers, dryers, spice traders, tobacconists, ropers, and sail makers, uh, train oil cooker. I don't know what train oil is for. No idea. Something you make from oils. I don't know what it does. Do it. Can I get trains? Is that a thing? Can I get that far? Seems a little far-fetched. Uh, pioneers, prepared settlers. So if we wanted to settle another city, we could either do this, or we could turn one of our people into a prepared settler with, I think I think we have to have like 30 horse, 30 tools, and I forget what the other one is, like rope or something. Um, and uh, so we could, we could convert somebody else into a settler, but we'd have to have the materials for it. Tons and tons of things, plus the whole military get get up. But the caravel would be good. An extra flute would be eighteen hundred bucks. So let's head back to the village and let's see what we have there for for information. Well, first, we'll do a bit of scouty scout here. Up to the leader, expert farmer training, and a hundred bucks. Good. See, that might make a difference for our uh, finances. Now this guy cannot do the whole. Uh, with these guys so that's unfortunate but at least he can scout up and look at he can harass the Spaniards for a bit okay so now back to Europe we have 14 1443 bucks so now we could get somebody else well not really the only extra one we can get is prospector uh, and here we have a lumberjack there and a cotton planter there that will be available uh, we'll look at our yields we definitely want a uh, lumberjack in here. Um, I think we're going to get a lumberjack and a miner and a, a pepper planter at some point. Well, let's see about getting that lumberjack. Can we get him in? 
Um. Hmm. No, you know what? We'll choose the expert farmer. And I'll bring in an evangelist. And oh, evangel two evangelists are quite cheap. That's pretty awesome. All right, let's grab those guys, send them on a boat, and head back to New Amsterdam. The first men? November 2nd, the first men comes out. Stank, what is this first men? Do I know this one? I've heard the, I've heard the title. So, an evangel two evangelists and expert farmer. So, those two evangelists will end up being, like, working in the native communities, trying to uh, um, convert them from their evil heathen ways. Uh, okay, this is a... The mandatum is basically quests... Um, the king would like to be the first one to, he'd like to, he'd like to be able to declare that he was the first one to, uh, to get, um, furs at a certain amount. And, uh, so we can kind of choose, choose to, to do those things or not. It's entirely like, oh, that does not work. Hold on. It's entirely something that we can, uh, um, just gotta, I just gotta fix something here. Hold on. Um, there we go. Uh, it's, it's something we can choose to choose to focus on or choose to totally ignore. Totally up to us. Uh, we'll fulfill that order if we can. There's no, like, downside for not fulfilling it, other than that somebody else gets the bonus, and it's very much a game of competition with the, uh, with the other powers that be, like Hispania. So, uh, get this guy scouting out in the boot. Ooh, in the boot here. Uh, more fighting to be doing. Now he's back up to full strength still, so let's go squabble with these horrible criminals. Well, that was hard. <laughs> Sometimes you can actually capture them. Cool. Uh, what we want to do, though, is make sure this guy is scouting absolutely everywhere. Now, has he got his promotion yet? No, he's still listed as a free colonist. Okay. Head up here and talk to the next village. I'm also going to scour up north here. Just get a little bit of vision bonus. Um, 758 bucks on hand. We can do some purchasing from the locals when we get to that. Ooh. Nice, uh, nice bonus spots up there. Talk to this village. Or to this chieftain. Expert hemp planter, uh, planters. Did he just give us XP? Is that what happened? Um... More maps. Lots and lots of maps happening here. We're going to unload everybody there that's in the boat. What do we have uh, coming in as surplus? We got uh, cotton coming in here. He's using up the timber pretty fast. Um, farmer's going to get in here. Oh my goodness, there's nowhere he can actually farm. Good gracious. Oh, good thing this... Very good thing this place has... Uh, a sample uh, supply of food right on the spot, because otherwise we'd be pooped. Ah, oh, that's some epic music, dude. Let's head down to there with you, and there with you. We're gonna try to get uh, some positive relations going with the locals. Uh, okay, the boat trade. Let's head up north, start up with this guy. We're gonna try to uh, pop across the coast, and pop across the coast with our three slots and our 758 bucks, and make as much, um, money as we can, or potential money as we can. Ah, silver deposit. Nice. Yes, we did get XP from that. Good. There's Explorer 2 bonus. Uh, was it Control Y for the yields? Yeah. Make sure I'm not missing any, like, bonus spots and stuff. We'll, we'll cr cruise through here, see what's going on in the center there. It looks like there's something there. Let's do some trade. Salt rocks. 50 bucks. They're basically... 50 bucks for 27, that's not bad. There's the there's the Santa Lucia. Sounds sounds famous or something. Oh, what do you got here? This is a timber spot. Oh, and we've met the Oh. Shoshone. And we have met the Portuguese. Sao Salvador. Uh, trade here. What can we buy from you guys? Furs and hemp. We could buy food, but it's it's quite expensive. Like, let's see. 232 for the 150 fur and 29 hemp. We wanted to buy food from them. We can't, we can't even afford it. 
483, so it's quite expensive. It's like three bucks for those compared to the other. And I'm not actually interested in the food right now. We got enough food being produced at home, and fur and hemp will fill up our slots because we only have two. Um, we only have two slots, two extra slots in our ship. So let's cruise around El Salvador. Keep scouting a few things here. I I want um I want a, an actual scout at some point here, but. These guys will have to do for now. Native gold. Ah, yes. Okay, so we've met enough uh, tribes now to get that little talking point. Um, what's going on here? Oh, yes, right. Uh, let's see. We need a we need a pier for um, for fishing. And now we've opened up a ton of buildings now, right? So we can do a ton of stuff. The music is obnoxious. The music is louder than me. Okay, I can fix the music. No problem. That's 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 fine. Thanks for pointing that out. Um, it also goes in and out, which is a little awkward. Uh, chapel might be good, but I think, I think we'll start with the schoolhouse right away. Get Edumacate and the kids. Uh, and then I want a warehouse here as well. And then we'll probably go to political points. So... Do you want to kill the obnoxious music, or let's just crank it right down real low, so it's just kind of background. Really low. How's that sound? Better? Is that too much? Uh, let's get... Oh, we can we can ch speak with the chief. Make We can train expert hunters here. That's great. And then this guy's going to actually go into the village. Same over here. Uh, expert uh, dye planters. And they like rum, and they have 280 bucks for us. Lovely. Excellent, excellent. Dutch, two Dutch missions established. Some XP discovered. Up into Watuhad. And get ourselves some trade going on here as well. Now, he's not going to trade us anything because we we can't take any more fur in this slot. And he doesn't have hemp or rock salt to sell us. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, send this guy uh, packing straight back to Europe. Ah, we have wolves down here. Explore here first. Get some cash. Good. Well, let's attack the wolves. What do we have for full strength unit? Wolf hunting. Oh, one of the dudes is shot. It was taken out. Loud and intermittent. Yeah. <clears throat> Low is good. All right. I approve. Um. Got some decent looking terrain. I think, I think we almost we probably have a keeper here. Enough to, to keep entertaining me. Uh, okay, so what did you guys get? This is gonna. This is a conquistador. I like the idea of starting them out with drill sergeant. It gives them five percent more strength, but it also gains them ten percent more experience from combat, so they can run around and shoot stuff. Ooh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, settlement defense. Strength inside culture borders. That's better even than settlement defense, because they can move out and attack with it too. Not run Swamp Fox, close combat. No, I think we'll go with Home Guard. It's a it's a combat bonus when you're in basically this. So this is a, currently our culture border. It looks like it's the town border. It happens to be because the town border is the max culture border. Uh, the next expansion gives us, of course, one tile out in each direction. So that's two tiles from the home. That would be the max size of the of the town's utilizable space. And then it'll keep expanding from there, pushing out against the Spanish and whatever else. And at that point, that can be outside of the city's borders and still be counted as culture, uh, cultural land. So, ooh. Fight to be had up here against some Grizzies. Grizzy and the Lemmings. Ow! That was one tough bear. This guy definitely needs a heal. He's at 5.6 strength. So I'd rather, rather be a little cheeky and keep him moving. Hello, I'm new. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> hey, James, welcome back. I mean, welcome. Welcome. Nice to see you. I'm feeling a little new right now, too. It's been a long time since I played played a good good uh, long game of Civ. Or colonization, I should say, more accurately. What is that? Turkeys? Oh, thank heavens. 
They're not on the shore, though. All right, so this is the uh, jerk of horse. Uh, the Stradholder, Stradholder of the Netherlands. He is uh, he, pleased to hear from you, Your Majesty. Once again, offers you the opportunity to prove your loyalty. Give our treasurer 82 bucks. Kneel and kiss our ring. And uh, let us rest. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, of course, we'll gladly give you the 82 bucks. That's a really small one. And uh, we get the bonus of having met one of their demands and maximum tax rate uh decrease potential so it's it's probable there you go it's down max tax rate from europe is now 53 percent we'd like to appease the uh uh the big old cheese back home as long as we can especially if he can do what is that that's a kraken look at it it's a kraken in the ocean <laughs> that's fantastic it's a great mod pack or mod almost an, almost an overall mod so involved all right so we've arrived with the rock salt um 27 of them so we each of the like in the in the original in the f normal version you have one row of resources that's how like it's double the number of resources here uh rock salt is over here so there's three prices listed here we're selling at europe which is the top one uh, but we could sell in Africa and we could sell in Port Royal. So if the taxes are different from different places, and you can you can also do different interactions. But you can go, go to Port Royal, which is basically the pirate headquarters. So if you're you can you can always trade to air quotes Europe, trade off out of the colonies like this. Uh, but there is a uh, uh, it starts with a twenty percent tax rate. Right now we have zero tax rate, uh, so we get every penny of it, uh, fifty three percent max. So let's go ahead and sell all of that stuff. We're at twenty one forty two. You know, this makes a big question, because we could get another ship. And I was thinking about doing that. If we get another flute, that's 1800 bucks. Alright, now we've got, like, almost nothing left. We could send a free colonist. We can't even send a second free colonist, so you load up and head home. We'll wait to turn on this guy. In case there's something else we get from, like, right here, for instance. Um, nope. Just wanted to smoke a pipe and tell us about his, his, his lands and his time. Fair enough. Not much I can do about that. And the next one was an experience bonus. And a native trader. Okay, well, that's not bad. He's an expert native trader. Oh, good. Okay, let's send this guy right over to here, because that's awesome. So they basically set up a trading post, and that generates, um... It basically puts points in, eventually generates a, a treasure out of that place. So they, they, they trade and trade and trade for a while, and then they gather it all up and send it off to home like one of these uh, units here. So, ah, the ma his majesty would like us to bring a lot of rock salt home. Yeah, buddy, I, I found some locals that had some. That's all it was. We'll go with Drill Sergeant for this uh, Dragoon as well. He's actually now a veteran Dragoon. I didn't notice that. Oh, there it goes. Free Colonist has gained enough experience through combat to become a veteran Dragoon. Excellent. That is fantastically potent. Uh, which, did we get all of the colonies down here scouted? So we got a farming trainer. We can train our, so we, we can take our colonists and send them off to here and become an ex, have them come out as an expert miner after X number of turns. So there's uh, dyes, farming, hemp, mining, dye, hunters, so for furs and food, cotton planters, that would be good. We have, uh, oh no, that's not cotton there, that's sugar there. Oh, right over here, yeah, there's a the cotton spot, yeah. Totally we could do that. Hmm. All right, let's keep ex exploring. I do like the idea of getting a colony on the west coast here as well. Probably by the silver. Actually, that'd be a fantastic spot right in about there. Get some silver. Hmm. Or here, actually, to get the silver, tobacco, and cotton with some coastal. Not bad. Because if we can get there, then we can have the shipping things across the continent, which would be probably good, I imagine. Ah! That's a grizzly bear, or polar bear, I mean. That's cool. Never seen one of them before. Get him! You're a conquistador. Aren't you supposed to shoot first and ask questions later? Ow, oh, that worked. The guy with the gun didn't survive so long. The 
potato farm up here. Oh, a horse spot. I didn't notice that. Oh, what's this? Oh, bison. Nice. Big old, oh, look, that's a very productive tile. Oof, look at that. Not bad at all. Keep exploring. Uh, yes. Ancient treasure found worth 912. Did they get angry? I don't think they did. Now that's because we have a, a somewhat experienced character. He, he got a little lucky on that. Or did we get take some damage? We might have gotten shot a, a bullet or two in there. Hit for that one. I'm not sure. We also might have upset the locals. There's, no, there's like an underlying relations with them. They're cautious. Sean and I are cautious. Ooh, but they gave us a big old bonus. And expert trappers. Lovely. Um, I feel like I'm passing stuff up here, but maybe not. Keep scouting, my friend. So every every bit of wandering around we get is actually improving our points. In fact, it's through the roof. We have enough exploration points to get, like, the Lois and Clark team. Uh, but we need 5,900 political points, and uh, we've got 210. So, I mean, it's, it's really expensive to get these guys. Uh, primarily, it's the political points that we don't get enough of. Or fast enough. And that is a... They're, they're all very powerful, and they're really important to get them. And they're really actually quite hard to get. Oh, no, we don't want to send the, the dudes to Isabella. That would be bad. Just, just send off all our treasures into the Spanish port to hang out there. All right, so you're there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, you can offload stuff there. Or that guy there. Who do we want first? A hunter. Now, culture's going to grow in the city here real soon, right? 36 turns. That's not very soon. Um, we have positive food. We're using one extra lumber at a time. Schoolhouse is nearly built. Hmm. It's a storage house that gets those. Ooh, glitchy glitch. Uh, I'm gonna just sail right now. We have 208 bucks. I'm gonna send this boat. Um, yeah, 31. We're only getting one uh, cross per turn, so we're like, we're 18 turns away from getting that, so we can get both boats return trip. That might have been premature to buy the boat. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to head down. Can't get onto that spot. We can go down here. Speak to these expert miners with our first boat. Uh, okay, so our free colonist can do what? I'm thinking he's probably going to go... We'd get a cotton planter. That wouldn't be wouldn't be terrible. We don't have a hunting spot directly, but we, we can hunt some. We get... Uh, what is this stuff again? The bean... The red, oh, forget. Do, 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 do. It is not red pepper. Uh, is it coffee or is it cocoa? I don't know which one that is. Ah, cocoa planter. Okay. So it's cocoa we could get. If we had a cocoa planter, that's cotton planter over there. Is there a cocoa planter trainer? Hemp, indigo, farming, mining, indigo, hmm. Hmm. It's for trapper. Getting a little lackluster here with that. Uh. Well. Let's see. I think he's just going to stay in the village. That's what he's going to do. And uh, we'll get him something useful to do, like uh, make some li make some liberty belts. Sounds great. That'll help uh, boost some the points we need. Ooh, that guy standing there with my treasure. Oh no, this is my treasure. Eight hundred and forty-three bucks now. Good. As long as we don't get into a, a shooting match with the Spanish yet, we'll be, we should be fine. Uh, there's our traders in in house now. We can set up a. Uh, Trading post here, that's great. Keep exploring up here. Six point eight, huh? I'm gonna actually let you rest a turn. You guys, let's see what we can trade with you. All the things, no, just the fur and that. 
Oh, we can't. We don't have any money. 208 is not enough, huh? I'll go. Oh. There's a great white shark hanging out out here in this boat, in this spot, huh? Another one! Oh my goodness. Well, let's, uh, let's hang out here and see if the great white attacks us. <laughs> I don't know how that works. There we go. Now we can get to the right and gain some XP. Don't mind that at all. Back towards the village. Wait there a moment. Needs more cash. Cash is a little low here. Not a fan of this. Need some cash in order to get some products in order to take them back to Europe to get more. Alright, you're gonna go ahead. Oh, you can exp uh let's see explorer bonus. Trade for those furs or peppers. Go ahead with the furs, because I think I get more cash out of that. 107. Actually. Give me this now? No, it's it's a little too pricey for you, huh? Alright, head back to Europe. I know it's a short trip, or it's a not a lot of stuff here, but that's alright. We also made some uh, cotton here. I'm going to grab and head back to Europe with. That's not bad. Go ahead and go right back to sell. Uh, reason is we need to get a bit of a cash cycle going here. We don't seem to be getting handed it to us. Thousand units have been traded, okay? Fight these guys in their little camp. Oh, that didn't go well. Alright, we got them, and uh, some cash there. Good. Uh, go ahead and grab that as well. Discovered a wounded ranger. Oh, hello. What's this ranger like? You can move on mountain peaks. Nice. Visibility range is bonus. Moves slower, but he, uh, he can... his way through some tough terrain. That's cool. I'm gonna head you... No, we're gonna head the Conquistador back. What is it, Plum? Because he can't do any of the fun stuff. I actually don't know if the ranger can even. As far as talking to these guys. We shall find out. Bonehead. Right out of church. I don't understand why... Oh, this is the uh, school has been... First schoolhouse has been made. No, we can't... can't even... Explore that, huh? More land explored up here. Ooh, hello. Hello, gold mine. Uh... But why? Gold deposit there. Not bad. I don't know, this isn't this is a little bit of a lackluster terrain or territory. I don't know. Can we restart? The way's in already. I mean I don't want to be doing that all the time, but uh, hunter, yeah, there's any there. Not a lot from these this place. Hello, polar bear. Please don't eat my face yet. Hostiles. Victory? Hmm. This is really lackluster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'll give her another we'll give her another go. I love new maps. I know, right? How many times do you get to reboot this thing? Like hundreds. Hey, Stavescent again. I like playing as Stavescent. Well, guys, that's fine. You comment the most, you get you get some feedback options. I like that. I will approve. Oh, look at that. We got wreckage right in the storm. So the first thing to do is sail into a storm. We got some extra monies. Off to a good start already. Got a uh, land ho treasure here. Take our scout and pop him. Uh, Pop him right in there. Gain experience for him right away. That's not bad. Got a fishing spot. Decent uh, lumber spot. Now, if there was more fishing around there, that might be even better. Ah, uh, there's the uh, village. Expected to see one relatively quickly. Go ahead and get the first explorer. Oh, and the second. That was a good chunk of XP for him. Okay. You can go right into the village then. Shall be peace in our time. At least... For the time being. 742, so that's a treasure. But have to ah. And I just sent them right towards the, the hostels. Alright. Go up and grab that treasure. Ooh, yeah. Oh, no, that was a map. I was going to say he got some XP, but he did. Sadness. We have 249 bucks in hand. We can get into a village and start do some trade. That'd be great. Uh, yeah. Grab this guy and take out the defenders here, or the hostels here. Oh, he backed out. Oh, hello. 
Uh, not ideal. Um. Weird. Okay. Into the village and do some trading. Looks like that is a silver deposit. I thought so. Hmm. Not bad. I'd like something that had like multiple food spots on it. That would be really great. That'd be really good. Yeah, bad luck. That was not good luck. Um, we'll go peppers and actually all of it. I don't think we got the money for that much. No, no, no. Silver is, that's a lot of silver. Gives 50 bucks to give us that. Um, instead, if I say silver, will you give me enough for that? No. Hmm. What is it, Plum? Discovered a missionary. All right. Not, not exactly what I was hoping for. You, however, are a settler. Go in there. 195 bucks. Okay, now we can get this guy to trade. Hopefully, he'll give us those silver. Yeah, 366. Good. That's really potent. Now, what do we got over here? Hmm. Yeah. Village up that way. What must happen? Clear for action. What do you boss? What have you need? Your commando. What what unit is movable? I don't understand. Telling me that I've got a mobile, uh, a usable unit right now. Oh, hit this guy. Okay. Yes. Uh, we'll just hold off for one more turn here. All right, so sheep is risen. First trade's completed. Yeah. You're going to what is it, plum? go ahead and heal up a little more. What's your health right now? Two. Go ahead and heal up a little more. That's a lot of turns. Commando. Fine fellow can start a mission. Was successful. Good. Oh. Oh, hello. Silver deposit up here. And one down. Silver's worth a lot. Like, we can go to Europe and check it out. Each unit of silver is worth 20 bucks. <laughs> Versus, like, the, the cocoa leaves and the tobacco, for instance. Tobacco is worth four. Yeah, really, really good stuff. Let's, uh, oh, that was a hostile unit. Next to it. So smart. Smart. I'm going to send this guy back to Europe because he's got 40. Oh, there's Danish. Hmm. Ideal. Silver, silver, and silver. I don't hate that. Don't hate that at all. Not a bad set of terrain space, too. We had fishing and a lumber mill. Ik wacht op uw orders. Wat heeft u nodig? Um, how much health do you have now? Two point eight. A little longer to rest. I don't hate this positioning. Another silver deposit. Cheapers. Hunted it. Huntable animals up there. Yeah, I mean, look at that. We could have the fish, the silver, and the lumber right there. Goodness gracious me, we're going there. Um. Oh, there's Point six to three point six. We take about. Come on, come on, jeepers! A little rough. Got the XP needed though. All right. Uh, get you your. Oh, you already got the one explorer. We'll go ahead with drill sergeant next. We'll head him down this way. Have a have a speak with the locals. Boats back. Okay, that 40 is worth 800. That's, that's a good kick. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is as good as you could possibly get. Prepared settler for 255 bucks. And an expert trader. Guys, I think we got our start. I really think we got... And an expert prospector. 265 bucks would get us an expert prospector. Hold on now. How close are we to getting any extra cash? Possibly right there. Nope. Oh my god, seriously? 
I just lost that unit. Uh, if we can save Scum, we will. Fourteen ninety-seven, because that's how I play this. That works. Fourteen ninety-seven. It is. It is save scumable. You commando. Oh what? Oh oh hold on. Um. That's different. Treasure, sure works for me. Uh, you're heading back to here. Good. All right. So for here, you sell off this stuff. Get our settler. Expert hunter. Klaar voor actie. What is it plan? The lumberjack. Right, we'll load those guys and take them off to the new world. Right, we didn't settle our town yet. Get up there, friend. I think this is a good start for us. I think this is our this is our happy place, right? Here. Oh, you know what? Well, there's nothing there's nothing cheating about that in Civ Four. This is this is the king of safe scum. <laughs> Uh, okay, this is the Russian colonies. See, the Dutch have come to the New World. Yes, indeed we have. But back off, buddy. Might, might not work, but... Uh, I'm gonna actually get him to... Head over to here. And you can stay there. Thought he was gonna settle there. I was gonna get. I was getting a little nervous. Um, speak of the chief, he's got hunters here. They want cattle. Give us 110 bucks. Let's have a rest. Maybe they'll. Uh, maybe they'll heal us up. Okay. Settling this beautiful town. They, they, they're they perfectly fine with us taking the first place, no matter what it is. So I'm happy with that, too. Uh, you're going to head off to New Amsterdam. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to need some, some pioneer work here really quickly. I think we'll go with the Liberties again. Want domestic trade strengthened? Yeah, that was a quick heal up. Good. And the Danish have been... Strange fellows. We really want to push this uh, our boundaries out fast, though. Don't quite know where we're going to get our first, put our first colony, but our second colony, I should say. Um, you can hang out there. That okay? So this is a raider and a hunter. Um. I kind of like the idea of going straight in for the for the uh, four in the middle. Let's see if we can have a look around. Um, we'll get the settler heading inland. We are going to go with an inland town with all these silver deposits. That'll be huge. Uh, and the hunter might be able to be used in that forward facility. Actually, he'll stay, he could probably stay in here, so you unload, go into the village, and get him working. So we could immediately, I'm going to put him on the lumberjacking here and get this guy building the, oh, we're short on food already, huh? Um, okay, that's unfortunate. Uh, we legit do not have the capacity to feed our people. Hmm. Unless, of course, we actually make him a hunter. Uh, he'll get enough food to cover our needs, and then this guy's still doing the lumber. Could do fishing, I think. Yeah, there's a fish spot. That's fishable without a dock. You need the pier in order to actually use normal tiles for fishing, and it boosts the fishing here. Uh, and then we'll go with the chapel, and then we'll go with a uh, actually a wagon train before the political points. And then there. Hopefully. All right. Trader, I think we'll put him right in here. Seems like a good place. 
Only if you don't get good. <laughs> yeah, those are the days of a uh, little, little excess of randomness. Um, we could definitely play it. Um. Oh yeah, there, there's a revenge attack. Yeah, just lost half his health. Uh, go ahead and heal. Actually, don't heal. Go ahead and go visit the locals that you just uh, encroached on their their lands. Ninety percent success rate. Trading post has been established. Excellent. Let's see about starting some trade. Peppers and fur. Do I have money for that? Yeah, 114 bucks. No problem. Uh, and we'll pop down here and see if we can get a little bit more before we head back to Europe. Now, I could sell these things off if we wanted to, but we'll see about that. All right, so silver, silver, timber. We could position a colony over this way somewhere. We'd have to pay the uh, locals for the, the land. We have a fur spot here. We have beavers going. We had some hats going back home. We have a silver location here. So we would expand and get the ore here. From this location, we would get that, 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 and then these two as well. Stuff across this hill, the hunter there. Be a good target. Good for more forested space out there. That's good. A peek what's going on here. Uh, we got some cotton. Okay. Now, the question is, do we put it in here somewhere? I think this one should probably be coastal. So if we click, if we catch these guys, we could have something like here or here. No, here that would give us access to this silver. And something down here that would get us access to this silver as well. If need be. I think we're going to head over here. It'll get us an immediate food spot, supply and another spot for silver production. We're going to need a pioneer get into this village here and see what they have to say. Uh, okay, more map stories, unfortunately. Expert trappers, though. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Yeah, decent locations. Got some shellfish up the top. Give them a rest here. Hey, we can do some trade. They do have silver. They have peppers as well. Now... If I can... Peppers and fur. So I could actually do them all. I don't think we'll be able to. 126 for the silver. I'm going to wait to turn here. Is there anything more that we could know? So if we wanted to do more trade, what we can do is we can take one of these things and convert it. And send this one home. Merge treasures? No, I don't want to do that. But we can't send it. Pick up. Pick up, buddy. I want to send you home. Uh, why can I not send him home? Wait, what happened to sending him home? How is that not a thing anymore? It was just a thing. But do I not have? Do I have to have the peer in order to do that? I might need to have that peer in order to trade. Oh, used to be able to send them home. Like, in this version, I thought I was. Well, uh, let's go ahead and settle here, then. Oh, he wants 1166 bucks for it. Okay. Wait for a moment, then that's not quite amount of... We don't quite have that much money. But we could send these twits back to Europe. Why are you not able to go back to Europe? Hmm. Hold on. The Swedish colonies. Hello, Swedish colonies. Uh, we have four bucks now. Really wish we could send them back. Don't know why we can't. Weird. I know it was always the case, wasn't it? 1160 gold or 1160 bullets, your choice. Exactly. Merge treasures. And, but that's not what I'm looking for. 
That's not the purpose. Well, I guess we can't send them home to Europe for some reason. Maybe because we don't have the dock. Well, this guy's going to head home to Europe then. Go ahead and set sail, buddy. Got to get back there and make some monies for us so we can do something useful. Uh, this guy needs a good heal still. We'll leave him to do his thing. Family reunion. <laughs> it's, it's We're meeting a bunch of Europeans. Uh, 7.2, that's enough for my leg. Oh, more maps. Uh, control Y. Is there any other... T oh, there's the Russian colonies over here. Okay. Down there. We're going to skip past those wolves if we can. Um, no thanks, buddy. No thanks. Yeah, go eat them. They're tastier. Russians make tasty dinner. Go eat them. Uh, we go with the chief. There, 236 bucks. That's good. Could have used that for the trade, but oh well. Uh, let's have a look at what's going on in here. Finish this one off. King would like the money. Thanks, you jerk. <laughs> a little more cash. Visit somebody else down here. Wait for next turn. Could be in, yeah, should be stuff back in Europe. 1292 bucks. Okay, now we have a lumberjack. We can take the lumberjack back. Jack. Oh, and another lumberjack. Yeah. And take both of them. Political refugee. What is a political refugee? I've never heard that before. Political refugee. That sounds important. Uh, political refugees. Good producers inside the settlement. Not good field workers, cowboys, shepherds, miners, blah, blah, blah. Um, they are very good students, twice as good as normal colonists. Um, don't need them. Students, change them into experts. They get a bonus if they work at statesmen or healers. Because political refugees, unlike elder statesmen, have a fixed production bonus, Instead of a percentage of Liberty Bells, they're particularly suited for rapidly producing Liberty Bells in the base camp of newly founded settlements. What's their Liberty Bell bonus? A one production... No, two Liberty Bells. Ooh. Good. And they can boost production in... What? All of the inside stuff? Maybe? Maybe? This says plus one production to medical, minus one from food, three production for all the outside stuff. Hmm. I don't know if that's somebody I want to rush or not. Probably not. I'm going to do this. We're going to take some trade goods, and then we're going to load the crew. We're going to head back to the, the capital. Fifth, uh, 552 is not enough to settle, but once I bring that stuff in, then it should be. And this guy might give us some more bonuses. There we go, 789. Give him a little quick rest here. Uh, okay. He wants trade goods. He wants us to send trade goods. I'm not sure how those, how to track those, uh, unfortunately. Yeah, they do give good liberty, those guys. So I'm not sure how to, uh, um, yeah, how to track what they're, like, you need to get 7,500 of these delivered. I don't know how, have any idea how, how close you know, to know how close we are. So in event logs, we can look at quests, but it just tells us what quests have happened. It's just a log of it. It doesn't tell us that... Um, shows us where the quest has happened. Does it say in here somewhere? No. I don't know. Uh, okay, so this guy is now... That's yield from killing... Oh, attack bonus versus too. Okay. Uh... The Dragoon, should we give him Homeland Guard Defense or Wild... You know what, let's give him Wild Animals. Because he's going to be running around uh, in the Great Outdoors for quite a while here. He's our Master Explorer. Hello, madam. The Algonquin people. Uh, 
All right. Let's see what peaceful interactions the Algonquin have for us. Some money, and they also train hemp farmers. Okay. And, oh, oh a trader. Take that. I like that a lot. Uh, we set up a trader over here, right? So let's set another one. Nice. Got some good stuff going. We got 1,050. I don't think... 1160. 1160 is what we need, so... What is it plum? See how close we can get to that. Oops, shouldn't hit that button yet. A little, little premature. Oh, yeah. What Something to look at over here I missed. I'm really good at this exploring thing. Still more to go here. Where's the boat? Where's our boat? On back, boat. Oh, there it is. Uh, instead, you're going to come down here. And I'm going to try to trade these... Uh, we bought them for two apiece. We paid 300 for it. Let's see what we can get for trading these off. 600. Very nice. Okay, now he'll uh, offer us some peppers. I'm okay with that. Oh, hold on. I'm almost tempted to get the food as well. Now we'll buy the peppers. So cheap. Uh, very good, though. Go ahead and settle this beautiful place and say, absolutely, 1166 is a wonderful price. We wholeheartedly approve. Uh, silver, the fur, and the food. This is going to be a nice spot. Uh, I'm not going to start with the silver, thanks. I think we'll start with building up some of the, the place first. So we'll go there, and uh, we're building the village hall, and that's basically all we get to do out here for now. Got our first inland village. Extended journey. Excellent. He's a smurfy man. It's right in the text. Um, the king has benevolently recognized the foundation of the second colony of the new world and offers their support. So this is the amount of money that we need, or the items we need for a wet, covered wagon. That's what it is, a sailcloth. So you have to, you know, you have to have your covered wagon covered. So you need cloth, the sailcloth, uh, tools, and horses to run your covered wagon, and that's the amount that they give for that. Or we could go with uh, weapons. Uh, enough weapons to do something, I'm not sure what. But I'm going to go with the sailcloth to get that beautiful thing going right away. Uh, first to build, to found at least three settlements in the heartland with no access to the sea or inland, uh, inland seas, inland seas or oceans. If we can get that, and then we, he wants us to send some furs as well. Now, I don't understand what this is. Settlers from our overseas possessions in America have sent us a petition. They call for royal troops to protect our possession, their possessions. Let these lazy fools protect their lands themselves. Training and equipping rangers will cost 2700 bucks. Okay. I don't have 2700 bucks to do so. But, you know, thanks for letting me know. Russian trading post has been established. Wait a second. I was going to do that. Oh no, I was going to go there. All right. Where did my Wait, where did my trading post do go? Uh, I don't want to use him to do this. I want to go up here. Let's head over and uh, have a look at our friends next door. Everybody's our friends. That's how this works right now. All right, we've got lumberjacks. Lumberjacks are plenty. And I'm okay. They will sleep all night and work all day, right? Our lumberjacks can go in. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna move the fur trader, uh, fur trapper out. Or sorry, expert hunter out. I'm gonna bring the lumberjack in. I'm gonna lumberjack the crap out of the place. And uh, then the other lumberjack is going to pop in here as well, but he's going to be doing fishing. Just so that we break even on the food. Uh, and the hunter can go to the new place for now. We just need to get this pier done so we get better food production. You're going to head off here. And I think, is there any is there other villages we could trade with only? Probably. Have a look at what's over here. That might be a village right there. We'll head off and do a bit. Oh, I didn't unload the boat, did I? Well, a little too late. What do you got for me, friend? 163 bucks in, in indigo. 
Um, go off that way. Something fancy, fancy and fancy over there. Two hundred thirty-four bucks. He's just like straight on inland exploring going on here. Uh, did I bring the? No, I didn't. I did unload all the stuff. Good. Oh, okay. Never mind. What's going on there? Is that a? Are you guys in like riots or what's going on here? Looks like the town's a burning. Russians are having some political problems. Too soon? Let's go up here. Keep exploring around. It's a barren, barren wastes up there. The treasure. We can come over to uh, back to our lands. Where you at, buddy? Where you at? Uh, oh. Red pepper plants. I think we need to work our way back over here. Explore a little further back this way. Hi, puppies. I'm gonna take out those puppies before they get uh, uppity and take out our... Tre oh, there was a treasure there, too. Mind if I do. Head over this way. All right, hunters in town. Um, this guy's listed as a prepared settler, is he? Interesting. Uh, let's get our hunter going up here. Fur trapping gives you this stuff, which is uh, like a fine fur. I'm gonna go with regular fur and a bit of food. You've stockpiled enough wood to get us the village center. Six turns. Hi, friend, the Iroquois nations. Um, yeah, premium furs and silver. Lovely. Um, what do you want? 305 bucks. I'll take it. Looking a little greedy there, but okay, we'll take it. Not bad, actually. That was quite the haul. Probably worth going up there for. Ooh. Odd fishery out there. A bit more uh, ocean-going exploration as we move north through there. Go. I want to get to these villages that are closer to the neighbors faster than the others. Uh, okay, we need to build five abbeys. Um, not going to bring on a bunch of slaves. That'll just cause a bunch of revolts at this point. Don't have any, like, substantial culture of our own. There's the triangle trade in this one. Um, no, I don't want to open borders with you, friends. However, something was just messaging me about somebody being something. What did I miss? Event. No. Event. First church. Uh, uh, chapel. Oh, yes. Yeah. So now we're working on. There you go. We got the supplies to work on this. If I mouse over here, it'll tell me that I need uh, 30 horse, 30 cell cloth, 30 tools, and uh, 60 labor. Getting seven hammers a turn. Not bad. Ah, there we go. Now we're making five food here from the expert lumberjack who's actually fishing. Could bring him in here. Losing three a turn. And uh, get the wagon in a couple turns less. Yeah, it's actually three turns less. That's that's pretty substantial, considering it's going to be transporting silver. It's done. You, let me see what we got. Uh, what you got to teach me? Oh, you got some XP. That's what you got to teach me. There's more meaning. Got give me rather than. All right. We'll painfully let it happen. That's rough. I gotta be more careful with those guys then. I just lost that unit. Straight up lost it. See, that randomness. They don't, it's not a fight. There's no units that they would... It's not like they throw a unit out to fight you. It just kills it. It's like, you draw the wrong rando number. You dead. The you die card. 
Gotta love that in these games. Alright, so this, let's, uh, let's unload stuff here for a second. Pop over here. We have 695 bucks, so we're gonna use, make this trip worthwhile if we can. Alright, set up another trading post here. Oh, established. It's just, it was just a bit of a delay there. There we go. Established. Uh, we'll take the peppers, please. Sir. Down here and see what these guys have. Probably some bunch of silver, unless it's been gobbled up already. A lot of other things going on. An orca! Hi, orca. And you trade me. Can you give me silver? And more peppers and some fur. Great, I have peppers right now. Oh, they have one trade good left. We sold them some before. What do you want? 275. I'm game for that. Alright, then head back to the city. We'll load up on stuff, whatever we can there. Uh, he wants 4,500 silver delivered. Okay, so here's the new thing, trade. Now, I can't set up a trade route yet because we don't have the roads, but you can actually set automated trading systems, imports and exports. We'll do that later because, like I said, we can't do that yet. Um, we do have surplus lumber here. I'm going to grab it because we're getting more than we're actually using for these guys right now. We're a little low on food, but we'll sort that in a bit. And then we head over here. Actually... Yeah, we can head in here. We'll drop off that lumber, then we'll probably go by and trade with the locals there. And the governor or the king wants a bunch more money. At least it's not a tax percentage, which is much more painful. Uh, and this, oh, I didn't realize that's twice now that they've told me that. That was bad news. The lumberjack working there for a moment. Uh, we will... Um, load up whatever furs we have left over here. We got a bunch of grapes because this place produces it. Lovely, but we'll also take the red pepper that we had here. And we have some more silver or not. Yes, we do. A bunch more silver. So we got a lot of value here. Um, I'm going to actually dump the fur and take the grapes. We're going to head home. Go make me some money, friend. Well, thanks everybody that is uh, joining us. That uh, if you haven't, if you're lurking, you haven't said hi, consider it. I'd like to I'd like to know you're there. Um, our prisoners are our prisons are overcrowded. These criminals spout uh, sacrilegious opinions such as "only without tax are people free" and "we are the people," <laughs> and otherwise speaking out against the rightful king. We will place them in their custody if you pay us $270 uh, travel expenses for them. We don't have the 270 unfortunately. Otherwise, we'd get a criminal. Which wouldn't be actually a bad thing, because we can train them into, into happy people. Alright, do that, and we'll load up the fur and the hemp. There. Actually, you guys have a surplus food. I'm going to leave the fur behind for now. Get hemp, and we get... Oh, oh yeah, he's making fur, right. Uh, and I'm going to load the food that we have here. We'll take it back to uh, New Amsterdam. Lori, hi. What was the message ret retracted for? I didn't catch it. Alright, uh, the treasure has arrived. It's a, not a huge one. Oh, Jacques Marquette was taken. So that is uh, the problem here. We, um, we were very close. We could have gotten that if we'd have focused it. Darn. Gives us a seasoned scout, which is very potent. And a scout. Scouts move faster. That's too bad. Exploration is like the cheapest one as far as political points to get. I'd really like to get Peter Minuet. We need 1,442 political points for that, though. We're making them here, though. So, might be, might be doable. Oh, what's going on? Colonists have recently found the city uh, have materials left over from its construction. Some want to build a chapel, others want a tavern. <laughs> uh, whatever you decide will make one party unhappy. Three turns of disorder receive a chapel. Three turns of disorder and receive a tavern. Avoid the argument. The materials shall be confiscated and sold for 300 bucks. Chapel? 
or tavern. Well, we're building a chapel right now. Half done. I don't know what three turns of civil disorder would do. I mean, we're super happy now. We might even might not even take a hit from that. But what does a tavern do? Let's look at what the tavern actually generates. It's got to be in here somewhere. Or actually, it doesn't have to be in here somewhere. It might not even be available to us yet. Seems it is not available to us yet. Oh, there it is. Tavern. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Culture and happiness generates money from culture. Yeah, haha. We're going to the tavern. Chapel is uh, somewhere down here. Again, uh, culture and happiness. And it can produce crosses, but we're half done it. Uh, I'm going to say we go with the tavern. Oh, that's what the civil disorder is. Uh, unhappiness. Happiness, unhappy. So it's just a, it's a straight up annoyance. Okay, well, that's not good. Race to dominate cotton business in Europe has started. Okay. By somebody else, apparently. Right, you can head back to head over to the capital, too. Yeah. 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 Yes, hello. Let me try this again on the right again. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Thanks for joining us. Miss Army Mom Strong. More morning. Fancy content. Spoilers. Fun. Double Trouble's hitting the scenes. That's all I'll say. Uh, I think it's just city revolt. Like uh, when you conquer a city, probably the AI city were in revolt. Yeah, that's probably what. Yeah, that's what's going on there. So this is. What does this do to us, though? I imagine there's some loss of production, maybe? Oh yeah, straight up no production at all. So everything just sits there in limbo for a while. Must be what it is. Yeah, we get nothing at all. Oh yeah, okay, that's just the, yeah, like the conquer thing in, in the normal sieve. Alright, so we've got grapes to sell. Uh, we got peppers, and we got silver. That's a lot of money. Two thousand bucks we just got. I'm gonna get this refugee. Yeah. That's oh my goodness. What would happen? Another settler. Good lord. Lucky go. Happy. Actually, I'm going to also use the money we have and get a prospector. Then we're gonna leave the uh, indentured servant behind for now. We'll take all the rest of this crazy. My goodness. This is a Opa. fabulous start. Ha <laughs> ha you don't want your feed full of grandbaby videos? Can we fix it? <laughs> Have I be played base Civ 4? Oh, yeah. Long time ago, though. Yeah. Very long ago. Long time ago. Uh, okay, anything I need to bring over to the other place? Probably the lumber. Good choice, I think. Okay, Lumberjack is now cranking it out there. He is really packing out the lumber. So I'm actually going to... Oh, yes, that's not a... That's not a uh... oh, oh, hold on. Got some confusion going on here. There we go. That's better. Uh, oh, okay. Lumberjack makes 11. I took the lumber away. Makes 5 surplus now. Good, okay. That's fine. Nothing else we need to bring over there. Although we did get food going here now, so that's fine. Uh, we'll take the lumber over to the rioters in Fort Nassau. They're not rioting. They're reveling. They just got a new tavern. They're having a good time. A person can only handle so much Ryan. <laughs> oh, do we don't let her do Ryan. Nope. Too much. Um, free thinkers, whatever the eye looks political refugees have arrived in the new world we hear he's an educated and politically enlightened man uh you want to appoint him as the as an administrator or even a doctor this newcomer will best serve your colony uh serve your colony if you put him in a schoolhouse college or university he'll quickly learn whatever profession you need for the most uh, the most for the colony well that's awesome i like it 
We'll talk to you tomorrow. Well, we'll virtually talk to you tomorrow. Yes. 6 a.m. Central Time, guys. New content drops. Indeed. Bottoms up. All right. Uh, this is a new... Oh, wait. Whoa, whoa, hold on. I just got the option there. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. It was that we didn't have the dock. Okay. Fair enough. I do like the idea of putting a storage house in here. Uh, do we do that before we finish the political points, though? I need 1442. We don't need the dock yet, so I'm going to store him for now. 1442 points. Now, that political refugee is somewhere. Where did he go? I do not see you. Maybe he's not arrived actually here yet. Probably not. Uh, actually, fortify you. He must still be sailing in. Hmm. Bit too strong. <laughs> Been waiting to notice stuff the other day. Uh Yep. Yep. Something's happening. New series, Double Trouble. If you guys haven't seen it before, we do uh we've done some double trouble uh content with Destiny over at Army Mom Strong channel. If you haven't already, please get your butt over there and give her a like and give her a follow, or I mean not a follow, that's the other platform. Give give get, subscribe to Army Mom Strong over there right away. Now, we have uh a tax problem. The king is demanding that we he raise all taxes on the colony. So everything we sell at the colonies, including treasures, would now switch the taxes to 4%. I'm going to accept it, because otherwise we can never sell trade uh, fur again to to Europe. Actually, yeah. Oh man, I wish I had auto-saved here. Because I want to test to see if that affects the African trade as well, but no, we'll, do, we'll do that. We'll check there. We'll check later. You fortify. There's the boat. Now. Uh, settler. Okay. We need a bunch of money to settle again, I'm sure. But where are we going to settle? I really would like to get over here for this as well. Question is, do we... Well, that's a fish spot. So I'm going to settle. I know exactly where we're going to settle. We're going to settle right there. It's going to be costly. Natives are not going to be happy about it. Do it anyways. Um, fur, hemp, lumber, and wood. We're not doing any of those, actually. You're going to go up to the expert trappers here, and you're going to do a bit of local trade, because these uh, covered wagons can trade with the locals as well. All right, this person is going to pop right out there, and that's where they're going to hang out. Now, that's going to be way too expensive for them. Uh, expert prospector has to head over to here. I think we'll... No, nope, actually, we're gonna, they're going to go to the capital. Right up here. So off you go. Oh, conveniently, he stopped in port here. Uh, so stop. Hold on, wait. No, no, don't do that. Can I not trade with you? Oh, no, I can't trade with you this turn. Now I can trade. Can we buy... I'm just going to buy some more red peppers from him. Oh. Oh, we only have 22 bucks. So we're not going to buy any peppers. There we go. We got the expansion. Okay. So our territory expanded. This is from the culture level growth. That's the little crown there. Culture level growth of the New Amsterdam has boosted our territory. So now we can utilize all this space, which is actually no, like... We didn't get any more special territory from that, but uh, this one will crowd in on the other city, which is fine, because it'll give us the silver, it'll give us the lumber, and it'll give us this fishing spot over here. But... Uh, why do we not have this option? Oh! I can't place there. Oh, goodness, I did not know that. Within three spaces. One, two, three. Oh, no. Well, if I go on the lumber... I can still get the silver. Or we could go inland and get both silver. Like that. Uh, and the lumber. We could make it an inland villa inland place. Not a bad idea. I think I like that idea. Get you to the capital and get our uh, political refugee. Stirring up some fun at home. All right, so this guy can come into the colony. Now, uh, a standard colonist, so this is uh, just a normal, everyday schmo, would make uh, three three Liberty Bells total. So it already hit, builds, produces one. So he gains two 
from working there. If we put, uh, just become a colonist again, friend. If we put this guy in, however, we get five. Oh, powerful. Powerful. Three points per. We get three political points per, um, per hammer. We're making 21 points for using this as political points here. Um, not certain how I want to wing this. I think we'll go with the town hall. I think the thing to do is to switch to getting a town hall. Now, we're going to need uh, some tools for this. We could possibly buy them. We could do blacksmith and then the town hall. Uh, reason being... Um, let's do the school, then the blacksmith, then the town hall. School, blacksmith, town hall, and maybe our storage after that. And then we'll probably go back to political points. Um, or do we need to push these political... No, 1442 is just too high for us. We could go here at uh, 947 and get her. Uh, reveals all burial and ancient rune sites. And provides two mercenary... Um, native mercenaries. They're actually a decent unit. They're like uh, similar to the Conquistador power. They can travel through mountain ranges, though. Um, but the expert prospector, you will be quite potent. Uh, so this guy on this spot can do one silver a turn. Now remember, that's 40 bucks for that job. That's a pretty hefty supply. But you could also bring this prospector on. And he gets six. at crazy so he's the expert plus because uh, he gets a three modifier because he's a prospector the alternative is the miner so the miner would get more bonus for doing mundane things like stone and rock and and metal whereas this guy gets bonus uh, a big bonus three point free bonus for being on a silver tile or silver gold or gems so hugely powerful that is a uh, what's that 20 bucks a piece so that's 120 bucks every turn that that's a cash cow. That is fantastic for a village, a colony. Um, now, do we have any cash? We have almost no cash. It says starvation. It's not. We have a food stockpile, and I'm going to use it. I'm going to grab the hemp that we have, the grapes that we have. That's it, actually. He's going to wait a few turns because we got a merchant over here. Oh, we can't do it. Can't do any merchanting. Of course, because no money oh man they pushed out already you jerk face buffoons oh we we gonna have we gonna have problems russia we gonna have problem really uh, okay hold on um give me 30 seconds here got this uh no i don't have that where is it I want to take uh, take the time to get rid of those spammers properly. So I'm going to um, make sure. But again, yes, banned words. Spammers. Um. Do, 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 do. Mm, this is uh hmm. um That might work. I, I'm not certain. I, I'm trying to get these the bot to do better at catching these things because it's annoying. I apologize for this. Uh, can anyone see? If, yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, let's go ahead and hide user forever. Uh, 
Not that one. Uh, I think they're all sleeping. Now. They're all sleeping. All right. Where's our Where's our unit? My apologies. Okay, so um, this guy can't do anything because we don't have the cash right now. We could, however, get some cash, and I think that's probably worth doing. We could get 400 bucks by sending this guy a packing, sell the treasure, we get half the money, the king takes the other half. Excessive taxes, but I would let us uh, use this guy next turn for um, trade. Now, you guys will sell us grapes, okay? And for they have trade goods here, which means that the other the the neighbors are are trading with them. I'm not I'm not sure this is going to be safe for us. Russia's uh, expanding on our west. Oh, and uh, yeah, and there we go. It's more expansion down there. Cheapers. Oh, really? That's three plots too. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to go in here then. I'm going to wait for this merchant to get home. You can wait. One more turn, dude. Alright, uh, we'll unload this. Where's it? This guy can unload. And uh, you can load. Uh, load the silver. Lovely. Load the grapes. Oh, we don't have any hemp. Okay. That's fine. And off you go to Europe. You can settle here? Yes. Okay, it's going to be 1300 bucks. Don't be really upset them, and that's not good, but I also don't want to be spending quite that much money all the time. But a couple silver mines without uh, conf conflict would probably be valu very valuable. We don't ever want to throw a silver party. I'll just, just say that straight up. We don't ever want to throw a silver party. Uh, let's head over here. What's going on? Tavern generates money. Oh, nice. Tavern is generating money in, in Nassau. That's excellent. There's our tavern. Five culture makes five bucks. Oh, that's good. Very nice. Selling goods in the domestic market. So the domestic market is here. We can go to this uh, governor and we can go to domestic market. And basically this is generated by specialists in your village that have a demand. So uh, we might have somebody that demands um, cigars, for instance. And if we have cigars and there's, they can be sold locally, if we have cigars in this village, in the city, it will sell to meet the demand. And the pricing for that would be according to whatever the... Uh, the price is considered to be local. Like, whatever the local... If there's a demand, it'll tell us. Local price is. And it's usually the same as the European price. So it's a, kind of another way to diversify your sales locally without uh, taxing. Okay, we now have uh, Melenche, who's offered to join us. Now, let's look at the big picture here. We want Peter Minuet. I don't really want uh, to spend 974 of the 14, so two thirds of the cost to get Peter, who's really, really important. <laughs> Both of those things are huge. Um, at the expense of getting her, who's not going to give us really what we need. So I'm going to say no. We can get the option option to recruit her again later. In here, we're going to go back, and I'm actually going to look at this again. Uh, we're going to get those political points. We've got to get that guy before somebody else does. We really, really do. Chapel is nearly finished seven turns. I don't need it as much as I need political points. We're going to do that, and everything's going to give us points, points, points. So you can go over here and there, and you can go over here and go there. Good. Get us uh, 21 points there. You're going to give us another 21 there. Um, I could probably boost that. Right here, go to minus nine, only for a few turns, but it won't take a lot to get us to the point where we can get the uh, get him, because that's going to make well, that'll save us six hundred bucks right there. Yeah, it's going to tell us pop that up every time. Um, burnt down the Danish mission. Where? Hold on, what was that? 
Uh, in where? Where is this? Where is this place? It is Chip. Okay, burnt down the Danish mission and threw the missionary into the flames. Oh, okay. He smashed an ancient idol statue. Yeah, that'll get them upset. A, mush, a Russian mission has been established there. Okay, so the Danish one was was thrown out, and you know the Russians might have had something to do with that. Um, oh, Hans, Hans has enlisted her. We can't enlist her now. If he's defeated, everyone that was previously um, enlisted by him as his uh, Congress, they can all become available to be recruited again by others. Um, okay, he still wants us to get some defenders. Yeah, I got it. I got it. What are you? You're a missionary from Hans. You're probably going to go try to try to missionary this place, aren't you? Jerk face. Um, well, let's go ahead and load up the fur and the hemp here. Actually, one second. Are we burning through our lumber here? Yeah, we are. Which is fine. Um, so we'll load up the hemp. I don't know why I went back in here. You can get here faster. Good. And head back to the capital. And off to the docks. How much do we make? 1300 bucks. Okay. Get a couple gunsmiths there. Now we could get another boat. No, we can't. Not yet. An expert fisherman would allow us to get some work done in the new world. Let's have a look at what we have for... Hi. Um. Oh, we got a refugee or something headed on the way. Who did you just send us? Got somebody. Is that a Fort Nassau? The generous people for Christina between massive famine relief to the starving people of Tutokan, their generosity something something. Uh, where was that? Brought two nations much closer together. Oh, that's unfortunate. Tavern's making money, though. Appreciate that. That's what's important, right? Um, hmm. There was a mission there. From the king. A comment from the king. I don't know where it is. Oh, wait a second. Oh, if I scroll, does that stay there? No, it doesn't. Come on. Yeah, I don't, I don't see... where that mission message from the king came from what it what it was about about missed it and he'd like grapes delivered ah uh, mm, evangelist native more tolerant territory encroachment time spent in natives to train strength native uh, can't can't spend it on him that yet i really really need this guy 1442. We'll have to say no for now. Somebody else might take him. Stocks are declining. Not out. One more turn, we can produce enough. Um, you could switch to going here. Lumberjacking. We're seven minus on the food. Um, that's all right. That's better than. And stopping right now. The Archbishop of the Church has arrived. Um, we're delighted that the colonies prosper and acquire wealth, but Europe's people are suffering. Thus, since you are a good Christian, you would surely like to donate $796 to the Mother Church. No, I would not. I would not at all like to do that. Go away. Jerks. Ugh. Oh. Boogerty boogerty. Okay, uh, let's unload here. Here. We can head back to, uh, here. 
do some more trade. I almost said we we had enough, but I wanted to wait until we got this guy to save some money. Now we had to send it all to the king or to the bishop or whoever it was, the archbishop, Peter Minuet. There we go. Two hardy pioneers. Those are going to be huge. So we will definitely bring him on. So there we go. We got our first congressman, Peter Minuet. Love it. Now he's going to he's providing us with this awesome bonus. Two hardy pioneers. So these guys allow you to ter to do terrain improvements, but it's twice as fast with them. And they produce more stuff if you do stuff in the field. So we're going to start immediately by sending one of them here. And he's going to work on a mine. The other guy is going to go... The other guy is going to build a road down here, like this. Good. And are we building enough culture to get some growth here? How long? Seven turns to the culture growth, okay? I approve. How are we doing? We got lumber there, but we're running low on food here. Well, we got Peter, so we can actually get back to more useful tasks, I suppose. Now, the next question is, see, we use up all those points, right? All the, It's all about the political points. Ah, there's the question about roads. Uh, I almost missed this. Try to missionary this place. Um, I think he was going to send a missionary here. This guy's supposed to be uh, settling here. Now, oh, it's a prepared settler. I wonder. Hmm. I'll swap somebody else later. They'd like us to settle there. It's not a not a terrible thing, but not really useful for it. Now, what is it going to cost us now? Six hundred and seventy-nine bucks. Well, we don't have that right now. But it's a lot cheaper than the previous job. So, um, you're going to head over to trade again. Oh, did I just send... I sent the wrong thing. I sent the treasure load over there. Whoops. Um, build a first wagon train. No, we haven't. Silly guy. Okay, you are the hardy pioneer. All right, so what I'm going to build here is the mine, I believe? No. Um, what is it that I want to build here? Is it the mine? I assume it was, but... Um, why is it not giving me other option or info on the mine being better? Oh, it is there. There's silver at the bottom. Got, got, got. Gonna add another three silver a day to his jobs. We're gonna wait the turn. I think we got the boat arriving back in Europe. Hey, Lord, your mission has converted natives to the Christian faith. Ooh, okay. Uh, we cannot uh, appreciate the friendly offer, but we can't do anything about that. So now we have a uh, a converted native colonist. So we can bring him in, and he can get to work. Actually, he could probably come down here. Um, or no, you know what? He's going to go here and he's going to be our fisherman. All right, you, we don't have the cash for you yet. One more turn, we should have it. Royal court has been taken with picturesque garb and customs of certain of our converted native subjects. Sent them to be transported to Europe. And has sent for them to be transported to Europe? Oh. Um. We could hurt relations with the king by one, or we could improve relations with the king by one, and exchange this guy for 150 bucks. No. Sorry, my friend. He's too valuable to us right now. Uh, we do have a treasure here, though. Oh, right, because the, uh, the trading post. So that's what it does. It just generates these treasures regularly. We really need a galleon. That's what we need. There's a dude that gives us two galleons. Where are they? There we go. Right there. We need the next... Oh, we need another 2,163. Oh, somebody got... Uh, Hans. Hans got uh, Menenche. Okay. You fortify there. You're going to trade. No, just no. <laughs> Uh, grapes, fur? Let's go with grapes and furs. 
And uh, how much? 120 bucks. I'll happily trade with you, sir. Go back there. Now we're going to have a road connection run right through these deer so that we can get uh, quicker access there. Still no money available. Where's the uh, where's the boat? Is it home yet? Wait, it's not sitting here in harbor, is it? No. Just taking a sweet time. I like that we're generating five bucks a day from the tavern. That's, that's fun. I approve. All right. You are, yeah, you're not available until next turn. And they want, um, mm, Russia is pleased with us and would like some gold. No, thank you. I wonder if they're pleased with us now. Cautious. Well, that's unpleasant. All right, this guy can take over the fishing rule there. That's good. I think we're going to send him uh, out to the new colony. Now, there is a lumber camp here. We'll probably send him right down there. I need a carpenter in each of these guys, an expert carpenter in each of these guys. We've got trapper, hunter, hunter. Really need to do more. Man, it really hurt that we lost that explorer early on. That was, that was too much. Should have saved scum that one. <laughs> that was too much. Where is my ship? Why is it? Oh. Oops. I forgot it's I left it in there that whole time. I was waiting for him to arrive. With some apparent goods of some sort that apparently he was supposed to be getting for us. I, I don't know. He certainly wasn't getting any. That's unfortunate. Oh well. If we can get a galleon, we can transport these back to the capital, or back to Europe, and we only pay the taxes on it, instead of half, instead of 50%. Back to sleep. Ah, excellent. Fort, uh, Fort Nassau has expanded its colony. So now we have the first spot, or the uh, game spot there. Is that... You can work that game tile, right? Oh, what? Yeah, I did that. It wasn't usable. Well, the other place was working at? No. So it was just assigned to this city. That's fine. Love the points we're making over there. Okay, so this, yeah, this is, this one tile has an overlap. Gotcha. All right. I'm almost tempted to say moving here would be worth doing. No, we wouldn't get that silver then. Oh, we'd get that silver instead of the other one. So which one do we want? I'd rather have this mineral deposits up here. Hills? Yeah. You'd rather have the hill than have more unwanted coastline. That's fine. And that'll count as an inland for three... What? Are you kidding me? He's going to settle... The Russians are going to settle over here? Yeah, right there. Or not. Oh, this could get this could get unpleasant fast. Get very unpleasant very fast. Hmm. Oh, he's still doing political points. Is not good. Not good at all. Lumberjack. Our build our dude's not back. Thunderbird He is now joining someone else. Alright, we gotta go we gotta get the cash. Um, gonna have to transport both of these back to Europe. Oh, hold on, hold on! Ah, stop! Damn it! Um, one of them might have been enough. Yeah, we'll wait there. This guy can stop his running, gallivanting. Go here.
See if we can sell this for good enough. 585? Accept. Well, but our settler here, settle this spot. Oh, price here. Yep, yeah, it's fine. I'll accept your price, and now you're trapped. <laughs> Port Orange. Orange. Uh, village Hall built, please. You can go in here and uh, you can get carpentrying. Get to lumberjackerying. Not, because we'll be short on food. Um, wow, really? There's no food production at all in the whole place? Hey, okay. as well make a bit of fur. Really, really got to get some hardy workers in there and just <laughs> deal with some of that. Hey, can I sail in here? Oh, I guess not, eh? That'd be a little extra cheaty. Sail through their village into the place? Probably not. Um, that and that, if I may. Yeah, 97 bucks. I appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Um, we got ancient servant, expert hunter. Yeah, let's make him an expert hunter. And then let's sail you down. You'll pick up some goods down here. Do 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 do. All right, the Swedish colonies that are pleased with us would like open borders. I'm gonna accidentally say no. What is this? Pioneers cleared the forest. Okay, cool. As long as he didn't damage the silver deposit. I'm good with this. Uh, this is a mine yet? No, yes, it is a mine. And it'll become a large mine in 74 more turns. That's why getting those guys early on is so helpful. He is now making nine. Rebel sentiment in the colony is what? What's it at right now? 19%. Which means this colony is actually getting a 9% uh, a bonus. I think it's half of the rebel sentiment gives a percentage bonus to your production in the field. So, and possibly to these guys as well. Yeah. So the more rebel sentiment, the better for all productivity. It also is going to upset the king. Um, but uh, I'm going to say we shut off political points. Uh, can I? How do I shut that off? No. How do I shut that off? There it is. No. I just put that on again. Not sure how. There we go. School. There we go. All right, so do that, then we'll put the storage house in. I really like to have a, a coastal ship. We need to have the dock, however, before we can do that. So let's do the dock. Uh, no, before we do the... Oh, that's backwards. Schoolhouse. And then I need the blacksmith, then the storage, and then the dock. Then we'll upgrade to the town hall. Way longer than I expected that to take. That's fine. You are going to want to bring this on line. This will be the lumber mill. Load the goods. Back here, do a bit of trade. You do a bit of trade. 152 bucks, not a lot to get what we need, but oh, there's silver there. We're not going to be able to get that. I'm certain we're not. 26 of them? Uh, no. 24 of them, rather? No, can't do it. Um. 99 bucks for that though. Take it. Now I could unload units into here from here, but I can't move through the spot. And we can't culture bomb them right into oblivion hole they can never get out of. That would be lovely. Move back and drop it off at the dock. All right, so leather has fallen in the Netherlands. There's definitely I, I Yeah. Almost at its limits. New Amsterdam almost has a storage capacity issue. That's why I wanted to build this storage house, but I guess we'll unload a bunch of stuff when we take... Yeah, the, the fur is going to be unloaded right away, anyway, so... Um, fine. Alright, this guy is building a um, lodge. Guns and lumber camp in 60 turns. Right now it'll add 3 reduction to that spot. Good. Here, we have 23 bucks. He does have grapes and furs available. For now, you can sit right on down here. Building the road into Fort Nassau. And then from Fort Nassau, we'll build a road across to Fort Orange. And then straight back up we'll through the silver to Fort Orange. And we'll straight back up to New Amsterdam. Actually, this guy will probably build the road down to New Amsterdam. That'll get, you know, start getting some logistics connections going here. Let's unload there. We're going to 
take fur and fur. What else? And silver. 144 silver. 141 silver. And you got most of your turn spent, so you're going to spend the rest of it sitting there. Uh, open borders with the them? No, I'm going to pass. You refused to give us tribute. Yeah. Yeah, we did. I ain't your, your friend. Uh, then we'll load the rest of the silver up. It's 150. That is a seriously packed ship right there. Enough to buy another ship. Maybe even a galley. Actually, speaking of which, we need the political points pumping because we need this. Two galleons would be worth thousands of dollars. And massive amount of trade capacity. And we rush the political points. How much are we getting per turn? We're 963 right now. Uh, 1,005. 963. That's 42 a turn. Not spectacular. Not fast. You're going to load up money right now. You're going to load up whatever's available to hemp and the fur. And let's head back to after them. It takes a long time for them to build these roads or stuff, but once they do, it's long-term productivity. There's the first, or the schoolhouse is built. Excellent. Tavern's still generating stuff in Fort Nassau. Love that. Every turn. Boats and silver prices have risen at home. Good. And there they go. That's, I thought so. They built it right out on the peak. Fortunate, but... There may, there may be conflict of brewing after that type of behavior. Uh, I'll send him over here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at those roads. Oh, that's so good. Yeah, you can wait there. Now that road is finished. You'll be able to get between the towns in one order. And he can, we can automate it as well. So will be back home soon. More prisoners. 810 bucks. Sorry, we don't have the money for you, sir. Origin Denmark tells us that people who might emigrate to our colonies rather than to the colonies of their mother country for a small amount. Oh, man, I wish we had a large amount. We, we do, it's just on en, en route. Um, I'm going to go here, and then we can cut an extra tile off the road build there. You're going to wait. One more turn. There we go. All right, let's see what this beauty's worth. 2880 bucks for that silver. 2880. 4% tax rate. 720 and 720. We have 4353 bucks. Okay. Which means we should probably get another ship. Another one of these running trade would be super powerful. I think. Um. Mm. Blit has a... Okay, the, the Caravala is actually just faster. Not more powerful, per se. Um, oh no, it can actually attack. I see, that's, that's the difference. Merchantman has four slots. 25 strength. Now, I think we go with the Flute. Now, we could probably almost get a, a Galleon. 4,500, but I'm going to try to get the galleon from those, from that dude. We get the flute. And I almost want to, like, take indentured servants and get some training done. Well, we'll get the guns, well, there's already a gunsmith there. We could remove him, remove his specialty, and he's a columnist. Clever, Oxy. Look at that, indentured servants Don't everywhere here. Ah, blacksmith, good. Uh, free colonist. Just spending directly here. It's cheapest. Oh, and a prepared colonist. Arrgh! Okay, uh, 625 bucks, huh? That's too bad. Blacksmith. Uh, can I buy? No. Can I buy some number? Uh, how much can I get? 125? 
Yes, 125 of those. The blacksmith and the three colonists and the stuff. Send it back to New Amsterdam. The hell? Just send it back to the New World. We'll wait to get this prepared colonist. So we have a bit of extra cash. He wants to spend a bunch of money. Yeah, I do want to get some military. Uh, we're hooped if we get attacked. We're straight up dead if we get attacked. <laughs> Somebody declares war on us. Shh, don't tell them. We're doomed. Um, we have 23 bucks again. We just don't have any cash for the trades. So, um, I guess we'll head down here then. Now, did we get the, we did get the lumber mill. Okay, or the lodge, I should say. Uh, I'll go ahead with a road to here. That'll give us the connection. We'll do that down like this. That'll get us the connection to walk through to that place with a quick trade. Um... Don't have the money. Sorry. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we don't even have any money for... for him to do his work. It takes 20 bucks to do, to do the job. Uh, fur and hemp? Sure. What do we have here? Do we generate here? Oh, spy, um... Peppers, yes. You guys aren't actually starving. No, you're stagnant. He just right because he produces a bit of lumber. If I do that, he goes. He goes to sadness and misery. Um, there's not even a decent hunting spot for him. It's too bad. We got fur being produced very poorly there. Could build, build a much more lumber. No, we just need we just need to have some work done over there. Uh, what I could actually do is take the surplus food here. That's better. That's a much better choice. Let's take the hemp, drop it back off. All your surplus food. Send this guy over to Fort Orange. And that'll get them a, a hearty surplus. <clears throat> okay. And that's it. No way we survived this. No way we survive this. We're doomed. We have no troops. None at all. Yeah. Yeah. And Logan was on his side, and he's on his side. And <laughs> Every colony in the entire New World just declared war on us. That's it. And that's the end of the game. Mm-hmm. So... Do we restart here? I want to keep going. Do we restart here, restart a new map, or use this map? Restart a new map. That's probably that's my my preference. Um. Interestingly enough, I'm just going to show this. I don't. It feels weirdly wrong to do this, but um, I think we could probably just click the latest. Yeah, but restart new map. Yeah, see, we're not at war. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, we are. The autosave was after that. Oh, boy. Disappointing. I mean, I was really pushing it. So, you know, clearly next time we should not be pushing it so much. <laughs> Restart new map. Sold. Cheers to victory number zero. New great successes on the horizon, guys. New great successes on the horizon. That is a COD spot, is it not? Those are actually quite powerful later on. It is just a fishing location. Um, who are these? I've not seen that name before. Um, I'm gonna go ahead here, get our scout into the potato field. Hello, Mixtex. Uh, and you're gonna keep sailing. Okay. Mineral deposits. Um, mineral resources. What is mineral resources? I do not know. Uh, improvements, resources, terrain features. 
Oh no, there it is. Mineral... Mineral resources. There you go. Plus one ore, plus one silver. Okay. Looks like a ore-silver combination, but weaker. Gotcha. Alright. So, up here... What would happen? Go ahead and say hi. Hmm, indigo. Got some runes. Do what they have to say. 105 bucks, okay. And they get angry. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're so close to the start here, I'm gonna reload. Do we, do we wanna, do we wanna have a look at this? You know what I'd like? I'd like to find a spot that's got crazy good food. Let's do that. Give it another go. We just lost half that unit anyways. The amount of time, the amount of time it takes to restart on this is poisonously easy. <laughs> Me, need more knuckle draggers early. You're not wrong, friend. You're not wrong. Ah, uh, look at that. Land ho and a shipwreck. Well, let's sail right there, because that's perfectly... Oh. Got a survivor. Excellent. Got a free unit. And a little tiny speck of an island. I'm not sure that land ho... Well, I guess the New World was discovered as an island. Right? Wasn't that the... Wasn't that Columbus is like, hey, we made it to this new continent, and he was like, on the island. Oh. Whoa. Hold on. That's access to Europe, and that's access to Europe. Oh, this is a strangish map. Okay, let's head down this way. It feels like that's more likely to get it. Are you sure there's a continent here? Are we sure? Dodge the storm, man. Dodge the storm. Okay, I've never seen this before. We're going to sail all the way to the east and east. All right, well, apparently we're just going to make it to Asia... Directly. Ah! More land! We're in cold land. This is interesting. Never seen anything like this. Alright, let's drop our scout right away. And the others can keep sailing. And we'll go north. Because, you no know, reasons. Cotton. And, uh, shellfish. Um, okay. Give it a start here. Gains experience. Perfect first hit. And there is a Mapuche. This isn't Civ 6, so we're okay. Indigo. Got to cotton, cotton, indigo. Can we just take his colony? Is that is that too much to ask? Probably. Um well, it's not a great uh, first colony spot. There for Axi. Where's our, where's our Clairvo Axi? I want this right in here to meet the friends. 834 bucks. So he just gave us a treasure. All right, well. Can't, can't exactly uh, load her up. Um, indigo planters. I don't hate the idea of having an indigo planters. It would depend on where we end up. I'm going to pop all of them back over here. Grab that wreckage. Hopefully get some XP out of it, because... Great white shark! Ah! Ah, shipwreck map. What a waste. And you can go ahead with some exploring. Nice. A ranger unit. Wow. Not bad. Silver deposit and... There's fish, there's some shellfish. I'm a little concerned about the dis the range that these are, the distance from home. But head back up along the map this way. Ah. Hello. A humpback whale. Don't run into him. He not be friendly. Right, you are gonna you can't explore that. Keep moving for visuals. Oh, swirling humpback whales! Careful, man. Watch where you're pointing that thing. Alright, we got an oasis there and, and something else. Not bad. Timber, hunting grounds, more timber. 
I like the idea of the access to the silver. We've noticed how valuable that can be. We could actually land on the silver. Colonize on the silver, having that and this as an option with some good coastal front. I got hmm. the borders. Interesting. These guys are hunters, and they gave us some cash. Have a look in and see what's going on. We got cotton, tobacco. You're just going to wander down this way a little more. Um, he's probably going to get eaten by animals. <laughs> I don't know. Well. Hmm. We'll find another village and then decide if we're going to head home. Head back down. Now, right here is just a whole bunch of timber and some fishing spots. Ah! A kraken! Um. Right there, out here. Yeah, this doesn't look spectacular. The moment you guys feel like we should reboot or restart the thing when we're doing these explorers, let me know. Discovered a lost colonist. Okay, so we've got, just got a lot of people here already. Watermelons and potatoes? What is this? Melons and potatoes. Uh, this guy can go in here. Melons and potatoes everywhere. Auto save. Let's see what these people have to say. Expert farmers? Potatoes? Melons? Hmm. Hmm. They roll the dice one more time. Now the Bahamas. I'm gonna give this enough time to look in case it's like a super spot. <clears throat> we'll just give a little, little wander for a few tiles here, just to check in case this is like hyper awesome. Or deposit. I don't think so. 83. Just the the units that we've got in here is really nice, but the locations aren't spectacular. We need something like this with a fishing spot or two, and then I'm then I'm good to go. <laughs> Dead meat says restart. Gotta listen to Dead Meat. When it speaks to you, it's gotta listen. Do 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 do. Hello, Peter. Let's explore some together, shall we, Pete? All right, there's shells on the mountain. Well, that's not exactly an ideal. All right, up or down, we got some beaver, and uh, we've got. All right, uh, that's pearl. Mother of Pearl. Uh, we do have an odd spot up there. Interesting. Need like a hundred fishermen. There is a village down here, not far away. Let's see what hi Cortez. Really? French and the Spanish? Run into both of them? Hunters, 120 bucks. What is it plum? Not looking great. So far, so not great. No, oh, this is a restart. We'll get something. We'll find something fun. Do 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 do. Hey Pete, let's re-roll. Let's re-roll, Pete. Cheers. To an awesome start spot. And to sailing straight into the storm. That was brilliant. My navigation skills are second to none. We took damage from that storm. Oh, another one. Oh, no. 
Oh, that's off to the great start, lads. Great. There is a continent here, right? Sailing right between the uh, north and south of it. There we go. Land out. We got some uh, forested space. I feel like the Dutch always seem to be in icy grounds. Oh, we're, that's the north. Okay. Uh, not great. We can sail to the west and settle on the west. Let's do that. <laughs> I built the. I built the back in the day. I built one on the original, like that. Oh, hello. Uh, okay, a cotton field. I mean, a cornfield and turkeys. Those are both useful. Uh, we'll get our explorer. Actually, we won't get our explorer. We'll get our villager to pop in here. Okay. This guy's going to keep going. A little ways. Eating the natives. Good. Expert farmers. Now, this guy's a carpenter, so we wouldn't want to switch that, but expert farmers. There would give you the turkey and whatever that is. Interesting. And experience for the ship, which is hugely valuable. That now makes him a good deal faster. Got a cotton plantation option down here. Tobacco. And we have some Englishmen. Bloody Englishmen. Hey, George. All right, what do we think? Well, there is Turkey. All right, let's uh, pop in here. There's another fishing spot there. The edge. So if I was here, we'd have that, but we would not have the beaver. Um, why would we want that? What? What? Homeland Guard? Sure. <laughs> oh, we should have done uh, Miniman. That's funny. There you go. Got a huge XP boost for... Uh, Carpenter. Hmm. And the lumber spot there. That would not be coastal, though, if we got the lumber. Or the beaver. There would be the only spot. What do you think? Worth a, worth a try? Odd deposit. Our experience for the ship. Silver down by the Englishman. Valuable woods increased. Hmm. Not spectacular. Not not a good enough start. You gotta get yourselves at least a good start, city. Yeah, more food. I really want a very solid food producer because every 200 or 300 whatever food you make in your village, you get a free person, which is very powerful. And it allows you to build a very large colony that can be quite potent early on. And there's a fishing spot. And we have uh, red pepper plants, fish. We only get that fish. We couldn't get the fish anywhere, but we could send a fishing um, boat. You can get fishing boats and send them out to spaces. All right, interesting. Red pepper plants and corn. Corn is a big one, right? Uh, it's not, not huge. Huge. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Savannah land. What's on the shore, though? I was going to say, you better be farmers. <laughs> okay, hold on now. We got... Savannah, 
But more savannah. That's a camp. With the peppers and the clam. That's not a great fishing source. Hmm. That's spectacular. Another reroll. Reroll festival day. After we got our butts kicked by, you know, ignoring the whole... Well, I mean, I was being peaceful, right? I, it's how you gotta play it. Gotta be really nice to your neighbors. It always pays off. Nobody ever gets all of the local natives to fight. Wait, that's history, isn't it? Ah, uh, hold on. What are you? Cocoa and deer. Good start. More cocoa. There's the locals with their own cocoa. Hi, buddy. Interesting. Sail right on through it. Oh, hello, double fish. All right. What we got here? More XP. We have a potential something, I'm not sure. Well, it would need to be like here. Which they might get a little uppity about, but... Oh, yes, a tiny little nothing island. Burger cane. Coco. Deepers. Yeah, it's... Just an island. The just the two of them. Well, there's six natives to deal with here, and then we'd have an interesting little island. <laughs> I don't know what we'd be able to fit there. One, two villages. Yeah, we'd only get two villages on there. Interesting. Island means restart. All right. To be happy, do. I'm okay with that. Oh, no, wrong one. Go back. Custom game. Make sure we do have the same settings we're wanting. I think the the nation that you start with determines kind of your... Um, where you come in on the coast. 94 bucks. There's land. What do we get? Yeah, I feel like we might be doomed to be always relatively northern, aren't we? What have you noticed? What do you think? Your commando. Lots of money and he wants guns. That's a nice little prairie spot over there. This will at least use you to look around. Hmm. The tiles matter big, big time. Let's have a, open this up. Thought that was an iron deposit. Deze militair meldt zich. Iedereen aanwezig. Conquistadores. Is this another island? I think we might be on another island. Probably. There's some fish over there. No island islands aren't an aren't a guaranteed no go, but not always. Made some links. Doesn't look spectacular though. Survivor in the shipwreck. Tobacco planter. Trapper and tobacco planter. Yeah, this is a, this is a dead. 
It would have to have a lot more to it than that. Uh, an island like twice that size that you could actually get some stuff on would be a bad idea. Wouldn't be terrible. Well, I guess we're backtracking, aren't we? Land, ho! Oh! Instant map boost. Alright. That works for me. Now that is a ocean fish spot, so we need a fishing vessel to do that. We have you to pop in here, get some coins, say hi to the Algonquin people. That's a decent sized town, that is probably their capital. Or... Might be inland as well. Ah, you got your XP. Good, good, good. Double down, sir. Another spot off there. Oh, we got some uh, decent prairie spots down here. What do they have to teach you here? Expert hemp planters? Look around. You pop out and grab that. You're gonna come in and uh, not, not, not declare war on them and die instantly. That would be rude. More hemp planters, huh? Hmm. I find that lackluster. Disappointing. Lacklustery disappointing. Uh, might need to put in a, like, a note as to where to skip ahead to for the second restart. Bovescent, give me some good land, man. What do you got? Uh, we'll head this way. Seems to indicate that this is like this tends to be a certain distance from the land. Uh, we got a uh, lime deposit there. Is that? No. Nope. Oh, there's a fishing spot. Quit, quit sailing over the uh, ground, will you, dude? Uh, oh, you look very blue, Karibs. They're very blue people, these carib. Fish and fish. Not a bad idea. One would be in the start with fish, would be right in the middle of them. What do you have to say, Mr. Chief Man Farmer, with uh, 600 bucks? Some treasure. Unfortunate. Ah, and some red peppers. The idea would be right here. Yeah. Although he think, seems to think that's a decent spot there. Um, turn furs. Oh, well. Come back. Hola, senor. No. Monsieur. Go in here. Silver deposit over here. Okay. And a hunting spot. Season scouts. Ooh. Ooh. We could train him to be a seasoned scout. He's already got the... Well, he's got the guns and stuff, so he's functioning as a scout. Interesting. Thoughts? Oh, this is outside. The hunter's outside the, this spot. Oh, and another treasure, too. You could also use the cash immediately from the treasures. Another an opposite sort of a strategy to do. That's the French. They're just rude for even being there. How dare you? Silly Frenchmen. Yeah. Go up here and have a look at these guys. You can also restart the map. To, on the same map if we decide. This is a great place. Do the pre-scout. Gems up there. Those are valuable. The gems are similar to silver, are they not? Oh, a little more. 20, 40, 25 for gems. 20 for silver, 24 for gold. Hmm. The idea would be probably this spot for our food initially. It'd give us a fishing spot, give us pepper production. We'd have some lumber. 
Not great lumber. Hmm. No stone in I see I haven't done this mod enough to know if the stone what the stones you know how it's utilized, but I imagine you kinda need it for Cotton Planter the French she's already gotten there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um You'd be happy dude. Did you have you played this mod? Give me wisdom. Share your knowledge, man. Need stone for tier 3 town hall and cathedral. Okay. That's valuable. Oh my god, st storms. We're skirting the storms everywhere. Oh, oh, we got our explorer bonus. Land ho, I think that was a map, wasn't it? Okay. Big ol' something something over here. We got a couple of mineral deposits in there. Oh! Like, what the heck is their fur doing in the fi- Oh, it's seal. Let's see. And fi- Oh, that's both seal. Alright. What is it from? Oh, horses. How do they work? I've only ever been able to get one per tile off of them in the basics. Okay, so that's interesting. Those are seal spots. They, they don't produce food at all, do they? I can scout and find out. They are expert miners. Useful up there. Well. Grape. Mining. Those are food producers. I would be happy with that. Hello, the Shoshone. It's for cotton planters. And a treasure. Mineral deposit. Or mine, rather. Not a mine. Thing in the stuff. A little bit of extra money. 513 is a pretty good start for cash. Hmm. Hunting professor, pro, yes, they do. Hunting, oh, all hunting ones do. Well, they'd only produce like two or three. They basically pay for a little more than themselves. Religion also scales much better than in vanilla. The faith costs stop increasing after a while. Oh, okay, faith costs for what? Recruits? Oh, it's good to have somebody that knows the game, or the, the mod, because I'm... I've never done a spectacular game on even the original of this one. My original was, uh... There's some cattle down there. My original was, uh... The actual original colonization, not the, not the Civ Four version. There's a lot of coasts with no fishing deposits. I feel like there should be more fisheries. Hello, French. Oh no, it's Portuguese. Like, there really seems like there should be a lot more fishing. You build a faith to get new colonists, but in vanilla it costs increase every colonist forever. Oh, okay. So it's useless after a while. And what is, um, oil? What is the, um, oil for? Train oil. What the heck does it do? There's the there's the uh, colony going in for the so Salvador. You come on, though. Ah, uh, spell your knowledge. Oh, it's just just knowledge. Uh huh. Mission. Yeah, there seem. Oops, there seems to be a distinct lack of um gems. Seems to be a distinct lack of food. Although, two mineral deposits and a. Clever, Oxy. Hmm. Gems there.
Uh, what am I gonna do? Use him to attack the the, the orca? Weird. Oh, we, oh, we got some XP. That's why. Yeah, I don't, I don't feel like we got. Well, that's not bad, but it's not great. This might be okay, but yeah, not great. Miners. Okay, we already had one of those. Fishing spots offshore. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I was ignore the building chain. Or I think sells highly. Protect the whaling boat. I mean, they look cool. A neat idea. Well, it was a big deal. You have to, yeah, it always had to defend against them cracking, you know? IRL. I don't care what we pick there, it's fine. Yeah, this is not, this is not a go. Da, 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 da. I could, like, load up some other game map and try that. I just replayed the same one. <laughs> it wasn't a spectacular map either. We'll get it. Well, this time, this is the time we're going to get the awesome map right here. See, look at that. Already got a treasure. Gained some experience. I mean, how good is that, huh? Spectacular. Spectacular. And there's some more wonders. And a new world already found. And these guys have a bazillion food produced. Ten food. You apes. You said... What? what? How did you not get your XP? Hmm. Oh, next turn. There you go. There's your XP. Alright, give them both navigation bonuses. Up in there. Maps of a shipwreck. It's totally the one. This is totally the one. This is not at all. <laughs> Hold on. We got uh, cotton. More cotton. Hunting. Got that stuff up there. Yeah. You go in here. You go up here. Just keep sailing. Ooh. Hmm. Well, there's a village there, though. Tolibinst. Hello, friends. What do you got to teach me? Expert farmers. Interesting. More cotton. Hey, Moses. Well, if cotton was edible, we'd be great. <coughs> I got the orders. Oh, I thought that was a village. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's Incan Empire. Yeah, they are. Iedereen aanwezig. Hmm. Beer be food intake needed. Me too. Except for colonization, my favorite of the sieves. Hey Eric. Thanks for joining us, man. <coughs> I also need to grab something to munch on. Not something. Probably going to be... Well, hello, everybody. A whole bunch of people showing off. Thanks for joining. I'm going to grab a chocolate. Where's my chocolate? Wait, who stole my chocolate? I'm right, going to go wake up family to steal back my chocolate. Ah, there we go. Never mind. <clears throat> it's all good. I found my chocolate. So we are currently... Uh, we, we're many hours in. And... Uh, I remembered the importance, uh, a little too late, of guns. <clears throat> Did I miss anything in the previous? No. No, Eric. Uh, the guns issue was an issue. We didn't have any. And so, um, some people may have gotten upset about it. Uh, I believe there is a prohibition on battle early on, correct? Um, do they get any movement bonuses? No way. Eh? Don't care what you train then. Yeah. I'm not seeing any magical terrain here, so we're gonna give it another roll. We're in the, uh, the slightly never-ending loop of, uh, re-rolling. I mean, we could go to totally random and be like, what the heck? 
I can beat somebody I don't understand. Yay, we've discovered the new world and had a cool dream. No, we didn't discover the new world yet. We thought about discovering the new world. Now we discovered the new world and had a cool dream. All right, and over here. Okay, we got uh, Indigo. Two tiles from this village. We got these guys. We got another Indigo spot. Huh. Um, hold on. Settler to pop in here. The Inca people. Go grab that 132. There's a whale. There's a fish. A fish. Oh my. Eric. We might need to name the first town Ericsville. Kill these guys. Shoot them dead. Oh, that's loud. Bloody heck, that's loud. Did the volume go up? Like, did I, oh, I bumped my volume control. I must have cranked my volume control and it took my headphones off. Alright. Um. Um. I need to like this. Indigo, indigo. We settle on the indigo. Get two fish. Hmm. 370 bucks. Hemp and fur. Trade with them. Get some good uh, boost to start. Um, 240 coins. Bugger. Killed myself. Um, we're down there. Fur down there. Or off that way. Inland village is possible. Over to over a little closer, we're gonna pop in there. Thoughts? Uh oh. Uh oh. We, we, we can we can restart to, if we like this map. What do you guys think? Tools and guns. But you want to stockpile early? Well, the prices are low before they raise middle game. Yeah, no, no, early enough that um, it's too close. That you're never this mod you're never gonna have not native sequels. They spread out fairly frequently across the coastline, so convinced that it would not let ooh. Nice fur spot Oh, that would also give us fur. Two fish. Plus all this coastline. Two indigo. Fur. Enough timber. Don't need don't need stone and whatnot if we have a an interior location. And we'll be able to fill up on more fur and hemp. Let's do a bit of pre-scout and then reboot if we keep the map. I think it's a keeper. What do you guys think? Between the indigo, it doesn't give us the fish. This bot doesn't give us those fish. Is this is a, in this mod you get uh, normal sieve tiles, not colonization tiles. Hmm. 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 Oh boy! Oh boy! Wow. 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 Stone, 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 stone. Wow. Do we like this map? I mean, we know these guys are going to be here and we're not going to, they're not going to be in that tile if we do. Um, I'm, ex I'm in explorer mode. I'm in cheaty explorer mode. Hmm. Thoughts? Do 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 do. More map. 
or silver off to the west. Nice river territory through here. Look at that river stuff for that uh, limestone production. Hunting grounds, tobacco, more limestone. Fishing down here for this stuff. Let's see what's down here, but I also want to see what's up north. Okay, so we have... Oh, and there's horses down there. Hmm. Trapper trainers there. Check what these guys are, but... Oh, rangers? Yeah, well... It's a rando gen, but we won't get it next time. Interesting. Okay, so looking at it, we've got this kind of uh, Chilean uh, wall front here. All the way down here. A nice spot for horses here, and an inland spot with silver and ore in here. And we have another limestone. This is limestone here. If we settled, like, say, here to get this stuff later, or, or you know, soonish, and we can settle in up here as well, possibly coastal. In on in around this lake. Uh, so the idea would be to settle this tile first, where this indigo is. So right here, and then they would get they would eventually after cultural expansion they would get these two fishing spots, the indigo that would be generating from the beginning plus this and the fur, but primarily these two fish spots. Some decent opportunities looking like there might be some decent opportunities inland. Hmm. Don't hate it. Don't hate it. What do you guys think? This is the south. This is the actual, like, Arctic south. So we're not actually right on the bottom south line here. More indigo over there. So we're, like, doing dye clothes all the time. We don't have any, like, any hemp production here, though. Thoughts? There's lots of value in the inland cities in this version. Oh, hello, hold on. Could do up here too. No, I wouldn't get that. Nothing would get that fish spot. Hmm. Oh, we got that, and then we got this sort of thing here. We're going to be contending with whoever this is. Portuguese. Hmm. Don't hate it. Don't like the Andes? Oh, that's way down south. Animal layer. There's the hemp up there we were talking about. Ah, thank you for the map save. Highly appreciate that. Gold deposits in the double gold deposit in the hill. Hmm. Swedes up north. Yeah, I don't mind this idea. Trappers to get the fur going. Right there. Don't know what these guys are, but I'm guessing they're either fur trappers or indigo planters. Probably fur trappers. These guys would be miners. Up here, I have no idea. Fishermen, maybe? Cocoa planters? What do we do? Right. Two in either direction. Reload? Or keep it? Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts.
Blue <laughs> is affected by a strong tailwind. Ah. Stag your twit. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Eric's got a an interesting point. Oh, hold on. Go to here, go to auto. Load the... Oops, I just saved it. Never mind. I just lost the map. And we're reloading. I meant to, I meant to load that map. <laughs> um, oops. We lost that map. I was meaning to load the initial spot, save spot. So it saves it the moment you appear with your little character up on the screen. So you can always go back to the start of the map. But it only saves that once, and then you load up a new map, it, re it load saves over it. Right here. Hmm. Hello, Cherokee peoples. Look, we got some crab, some indigo, deer. What is it, plum? Fish there, and hunting and fishing, and crabs. I know I can't reach them all. Expert hunters there, and gave us a map. Got a big wall of uh, silver and ore. Indigo up north, hunters there. Got a fishing and another fishing. Hmm. The city here would give you these two fish spots, that hunting spot, and that hunting spot. It's not a terrible notion. Indigo planters, surprise! Some grapes in there. Are the grapes of wrath? Um, hmm. Crackle, crickle. Got some ore. Got some decent lumber spots up there. U commando. I wait for your order. Ah. Ship. Right? Odd spot. Mm, mm, not sure. Maybe by, you know, midday tomorrow, we'll have found a decent start. Oh, just instantly got becalmed. Oh, it went right through the storm. SMRT. All right. Fishing tile. I've lost a few orders. We survive and it's just an island. Alright. So we start on this island. We just hire fishermen. 
for days. Oh, even more fish. We couldn't get them all, though. There's one island and we still can't get all the fish in it. That's disappointing. You're just gonna have to stay there forever, dude. We just found a stranded dude and then we just immediately stranded him again. Hi, right, Jack. Captain Jack. That'd be the worst pirate I've ever seen. That's an alligator. It is an alligator. Pearls. The black alligator and the pearls. Oh, there's weird layout. So, where's my continent? Excuse me, I lost my continent. I had one around here somewhere. I seem to have misplaced it. Dear, 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 Spanish. Yeah. Yum, yum. I really wish there was like regenerated keys and I could look one up. Oh well. It's what it is. I'll eat a big chocolate bar in the process. Hey, Peggy, thanks for the subscribe. Appreciate that. <laughs> An ore deposit? A cash deposit? Mm, left or right, left or right, left or right. Right! A beaver deposit? Time to go shipwreck. Mm -hmm. Like nobody down there, which is very weird. Omagua. Omagua. I've never seen the Omagua. Yeah. Expert red pepper planter. Who doesn't want to peppers? Huh? Good for the soul. What is it plum? All that dirt on your nails. Uh huh. Uh huh. The Russians are coming. Hello, Reverend. Hmm. This might be of interest. Deze militair meldt zich. Klaar voor actie? Yes. It may indeed. Go planters and a bunch of cash. Hmm. Iron deposit, some stone. Lumberjacks. Oh, a lot of food, though. Really want a lot of food. Hmm. Alright, listen, dude. Blocking my access? That's just wooed. I think this is an island. It is an island. Dang it. Although, you know, you take the whole island, just kick everybody else out, and you're fine. We're not fine. Oh, we're not even... Not even just the two of us. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> what? Uh, Sardine Island. 
Home of everybody. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> we found Manhattan. Exactly. This is an amazing, huge island. Except for it's not. Maybe we can get the whole place for a song. <clears throat> I find that whole story so humorous. From a weird perspective. Not like, like, aha, dumb natives didn't know what they were, what money was worth. They were like, you're going to give us something to buy something that nobody can actually own? You're just dumb. What is it plan? There's a military melter. There and, and this. There. That's actually good food there. Not spectacular, but a fish spot. Oops, wrong one. And uh, that. Uh, this. Fish out there. Hmm. Crabses. You guys teach cotton planting? For some bizarre reason. Indigo. Hmm. Hmm. Land purchase before I thought. That way it is. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. They're giving us money to what? To set up a house here? Okay, it's your, it's free, but okay, you can give us things. Dumb white people. It's both, both of them are just like being dumb. Not thinking ahead of time. Hi, Strange Island. I do want to look at the island. Might as well. Yeah, one spot for wood. Yeah, one spot for two spots for fish. Lovely little town there. Mm. Commando. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I feel like this could go on like literally forever. This is what I remember being so frustrating about the old, the old one. how difficult it is just luck into a decent start. And it is very much just a luck into it. Whales! And beavers! And other stuff! What would there happen? Bulls. Fortunately, you can't get. Uh, I've never seen a spot where you could actually get the whales from land. Oh, and there's the. Yes. Hi, double tank. Knowing Englishman, not gonna be a start. Uh, fail right from the get go. How long can we stand here and reload this game over and over and over and over again? So we discover more monies. That's an interesting spot for the whaling. Just immediately export it straight home. Seals. Shipwrecks. Oh, that's that's hostile natives. That's not a village. What must happen? I do that differently. I don't think we can attack very well from here, but maybe we can. There you go. Not bad. 
Grassland, grassland, grassland. These would be high producers of food once cleared. Horses, deer, seals, rain. Interesting. Tobacco village. Oh no. As we found something of value. And smoke. No. Hmm. Horses in there as well. What have you noticed? Yeah. Button. Or fish. Hmm. Hmm. What have you noticed? I don't hate this start. Which is a far cry from where it normally is. Oh yeah, just right, just sail right into the storm. They handle life. U commando. Thoughts? Yeah, some some potential like Midterm sort of a uh, midline sort of take some development, as you said, some 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 work, uh, a bit of a fixer upper of a continent, but not heavily crowded, and we haven't even met any Europeans. Oh, possibly because it's an island, but it's large, large enough that I wouldn't hate it if it was an island. Tolubinst. Yeah. At least not hate it for being an island. I mean, you gotta give it its, its due. Hi. Wonka. All right. Yeah, this is an island. But again, big enough. That's almost a little continent. Almost little continent. No ore so far? Ore down in the west, southwest. There's ore up north. More deposits there. Yeah, ore is achievable in this. Heavily forested. Cotton, tobacco, horses, more tobacco, timber. There's pumpkins. Iron ore on the southwest there a little bit. Stuff up here. Okay, start thinking about locations for possible start then. Deze militair meldt zich. More goodies in there. Sneak a peek in here. Oh, hello. And some more good fishing spots. Hmm. Can you feel the love tonight? Lost missionary. Ukomando. This is entirely nobody else here. I mean, and I like this. Hmm. Hmm. How many hmms do you think we got in this here, guys? This is pretty good. Thoughts? Anyone else? Isn't looking too shabby. Miners. Wouldn't mind an expert fisherman's. Be great. 
Right there, actually. Be an expert fisherman. No, hunters! What? Oh, there's the expert fisherman over here. Probably. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So. Oh, that opens up up north, too. How much, though? I kind of don't want it to. Now, there, there we go. There's some opposition on the other side of the mountains. The ore, major ore deposit up here. Ukomando, clear for Axi. Um. Hmm. Okay, so there's this is quite the space. Hmm, indeed. I vote this map. Okay, so let's think start spot. I think we came in right here and we sailed straight up this way, so. This tile right here would give us these four, but not a lot else. The indigo here would give us very little to start with. Well, no, there's some food production, some indigo, some timber. Get some culture going, and then we get this and this and this and this. Or we could go up north. This way, we could go in. I mean, the west would be really far. Settle first. Or is there somewhere better? Settle down this way. Get a tobacco and a green spot. Fans to a timber. And the next one could be up in here. Then we're really far from the iron. We're going to need relatively soon. Okay, we go with this map. I approve. And then the focus is just on being absolutely crazy on exp uh, expansion. I mean, the expansion is nutbag. A couple military units. Block up this area. Cut them off. Can't do that, though, because they can sail around. It is the age of sail, so, you know. Um, this is a possibility up somewhere in here. North around, you want to see a bit more around Sweden? This is okay. You can stop moving. You can. The Swedish colonies, thank you. You can stop there. Port Christina. Christina. Yeah, that is it. That's the edge of it. Just settle right aggressively next to them and then go to war. And we just met whom? French colonies. Where did I meet the French? Oh, he's just sailing by. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, well, that's the space it is there. We would probably be very aggressively at war with the Swedish. Although it depends on our growth rates. So do we go for something like in here? We we'll go down here, start full south, expand up the coast. 
Because we could put a colony off this way, get timber and iron. Wow! Exactly. So, thoughts, thoughts, thoughts? A thousand bucks, we just settle right now. <laughs> I think the choice has to be to find the fastest growth opportunity. Um, settlers need sailcloth and tools and horses. We could access horses here. Tools we can't really get up here. Don't have any sailcloth until we get up to this area for the hemp. Tools up north. I think our first settler would go up this way then. Our second settler, I should say. If we landed on the indigo here, we would have a slower initial spot. If we go here, we get more, but we would cover... Hmm. I'm thinking like here. Thoughts? This might be a good choice right here. What do you guys think? Gives us tobacco for the cash. Get a tobacco and a tobacconist. Grow the culture, get a food, uh, an expert farmer there. Second settle to cap the ore and look sweet. Mm. Here's hemp. Lock sweet out, third to secure hemp. Yeah. Like up here, you could even. You go somewhere like right up in. On this west coast here. One, two, three. So we'd have to go. This is as close as you can get. We wouldn't even be able to get. We wouldn't even be able to settle in this right area. Like there's not another city here. We have to go down as far as here. So they'll hit this ore up unless we hit it up first. Or fast, I should say. If we go here. We could possibly settle over here. Maybe not even. Probably would have to be up this way. And this. Hmm. Okay. So, if I hit load. Load game, I go to... Did I hit load? Should I do this right? Load game. Go to single player. Go to auto saves. Find the initial and hit OK. Ba -da -ba. You say settle near the indigo. First we take that, and then we say hi, and then we go this way, and this way. <clears throat> we can have war, I'm in. <laughs> Settle near the indigo, huh? Think that's the faster food? There's our indigo spot. Alright team, we gotta do this right. We have... Here or on the indigo? Remembering on the indigo gives us another couple spots, but only after expansion. Versus uh, here, give, or here, rather, gives us a... Probably a faster production initially. I'm thinking here. Hi, Natebot. Natebot doesn't have an opinion on this matter, so... Yeah. It's suggesting that's the better choice, really. Knock this guy out. Over here before he knocks out our settler and runs everything. And our first treasure. I'm probably fine with just rushing treasures. Boom. Right, the ship got its first bonus, which is great. So, it is here or up there, huh? Deze militair meldt zich. Oh, okay. 
I'll take the exploration. There is another indigo or something. No, there was uh, seals up there, maybe. Of expert. Up here we get fur. We go here we get other stuff. I don't like the idea of getting the hunter and the horses and the indigo and the seal hunting all kind of stacked in early. Let's try this. Right there. New Amsterdam. Okay. That was a lot of lead up on that. And we're going to go with the... Um... More immigrants faster with the, the church or with the uh, crosses. Liberty bells give us well an overall bonus production. Let's do the crosses for the increased uh, uh, growth, or whatever it's called, the increased uh, population. Expert farmers, as was expected. <clears throat> now, free colonists, these guys could become more than expert farmers, but if we bring them in as an expert farmer right away, do we have a farm spot there that'll work? And there. Really need productivity or uh, dudes fast. Need these uh, hardy whatever's fast. Season scout and scout. Can't be the short term though. Okay. Uh, let's explore further. Or let's uh, gobble up the ground further. Faster. All right. Missionary. I approve. Brick. Maps. I hate the maps when we already know it. That's like the worst draw. So you're not getting hit by a storm this time. Oh, never mind. The storm's what? Fishing spot up there. I wonder if that's a oceanic fishing spot or a landmass. Do a quick scout in here and see what they can sell us. Fur and grapes. Quite a lot of them. I'll take that offer. We will head home. Immediately. You guys should get your exploration scouts or bonuses. Make this quick, get as much as we can, as fast as we can. Oh, I should have gone north actually with him. Swedes are gonna come south, aren't they? Uh we'll probably just cash in these treasures early. <clears throat> I thought it was going to be Ericsville. It's Ericsville. You're right. Of course it is. What was I thinking? Since you spelt it that way, Eric. We'll do Ericsville. All right, and we'll put in the dock, and then we'll put in the... Uh, not sure. Just the dock at that point. First trade agreement finished. Excellent. And our missionary has begun. I think. Slight delay, slight delay. Has been established. Good. Okay. Oh, okay. Here's the... We get the free chapel or we get the tavern. Um, or the 300 bucks. Chapel, tavern, or 300 bucks. Tavern generates cash based on culture. It also generates culture. Shut the town down for three days, which is totally fine by me. Which carver needs to get up here? We can build the chapel relatively easy. I think the tavern is more demand, more expensive. I'm going to go with the tavern. Well, yeah, but if not late, well, I might use the chapel. We'll go with the chapel. All right. Angry people. 
They didn't get their tavern. Your fault, Eric. Expert trappers. Okay. Oops. Fields? No. Fields. Fields off, please. There you go. Better, better to see the wonders of the world. What's well, five abbeys? All right, you guys are ready for an upgrade. I'll go drill sergeant. And there's a big kick in the units. Okay, how long to recover? Five turns. Not cool, Charlie. I know, risky. I know. Go visit. Stop in here, say hi. Hemp planter and a treasure, and go ahead and heal. Now, how much money do we need to get back home? We'll sell what we have. We got some fur and we got some grapes. It's awesome. A thousand bucks. Who do we get? Renowned medic. Oh, we got a political refugee. No. Gotta take him. Uh, and these guys we can just train, right? We'll do that and go ahead and load them up and head them off to Ericsville. No off to Ericsville we go. La 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 la. Ericsville's unrest has ended now. All business is back to normal. There we go. Happy people with their chapel. All your fault, Eric. All right, so we could go with. Well, interestingly enough, what is it? How many horses can we get out of this? Why no? Why is there horses there that we can't get horses from? Hmm? We can send hunters onto the horse spot. We can't get horses. I find that strange. I don't know what causes that. There's probably some building that's a prerequisite to yield them. Ah, uh, yes. Excellent. Our free thinker. And first discover route to Asia will be good. Lots of shipments of fur. What would it be? Gotcha, gotcha. Races all over the place. Out of lumber. Okay, let's go ahead and get some more lumber. Hmm. Fine. Culture of three here. That's right, the chapel does give some culture too. I forgot about that. A bit for that to build. So the hemp planters. Oh my god, seriously. Immediately got smacked around. Ugh. Ugh. But at least we'll go rest them up. I know now that it's super fast to rest them. And there's okay, unload. And we gotta get people working on being productive. Where is our we have a farmer? And I don't remember what the others were. Hemp planter, farmer, and trapper. Uh this isn't a trapper, is it? Um, hemp planter would be nice, but we don't have a spot for it yet. I think what I'll do is put this guy to work. Um, in town here, probably just that for now, because uh, you know, not that this for now. If you go there. We're minus four on that. Um, you can stay in the boat. And you can stay in the boat. I'll drop them off places that they can be useful. Uh, you know what? No. One of you is going to go down here instead. The other guy will run up north. This place. Whatever this is for. I don't remember what it is, but... We'll be here anyways to say hi. There we go. You can visit with them. Expert miners. Okay. Oh, and a treasure. Good. Right, because they got the deposit right next door. Along on your heel, man. Jeez. Oh, more turns, though. 
sucks, bro. Um, oh, there's the Swedes. I don't think I need the expert miner here. Right now. Probably something more valuable up here that I could... Oh. Oh, he relocated. Okay, well, I mean, that makes sense. We've got that option. I did, too. Need a stable? No, I don't know. Do you need a stable to actually get any points? I don't know about that. Not alone in the foreign lands, though. Hi, friend. Indigo planter. What is going on here? Oh, bloody heck. The French came and colonized in here? Well, that's different. It means they're going to explode down here. Um, yeah, an indigo planter would be useful. Go ahead and work. Hmm, it's questionable. Uh, let's actually buy and sell here if I can. Fur and hemp's. Sure. 55. And you can head back to sell. I get about 750. Yeah. I like the merge feature, it's nice. I think it merges up to like 3,000 bucks, which makes sense. Uh, Ericsville is now out of tim timber. What the heck? Are you serious? Oh, that's a political refugee. You can't get lumber worth crap. Yeah, forgot about that. He's like absolutely trash in the field. Stands around and kicks trees. Leans on his axe. Talks about the idea of trees. How good they are for the economy. Hmm. Here in two turns. It might have been a premature purchase. Merge these guys as well. Right, can we now stop, like, pulling off my dudes? Farmer training? Sounds good. Do, 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 do. Uh, you can now wait there. Be a really nice spot, too. Oh, no, I was going to say it gets the hemp and everything, but it doesn't. Into the next village. Fisherman, probably. Okay. Now, get the pier. Get a bit of fish. Really need uh, the tools early, but we don't have them. So how about a stable? Make our stable. Is that a thing we can make yet? I don't know. Maybe not. Probably, I don't know. Don't remember how they, the kind of tier requirements these have. Uh, let's exit here for a second. Let's look at what the stable takes. Uh, or pretend like you're going to build a town hall. And then let me know about the buildings. S -s 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 stable, please. St -st 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 stable. Requires a storage house. Oh my goodness, Spanish too? Heck. All up in my grill here. Um, merge. You learn about indigo planters. Well, that's awkward. Already had one of those. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Not cool. Like last time there was nobody and then there's like four empires that are already on here. Stop it. Stop it. Four bloody empires and there was, there was one before. They all just decided to turn around and come down and settle this way. That's awkward. 
Damn Europeans. Exactly. Oh, well, doesn't like that, does it? These old games. Alright, so... Um... Lando, gotcha. Please, and this, please. There. Settler in here. Uh, warrior dude in here. Boat sail down here, get some monies. Do 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 do. What is it, plum? Shoot those guys dead. Thank you much. You settled the town. Interestingly enough, this one doesn't require any payment or any conversations. Hmm. Hmm. Change of plan. Main menu. Yeah, well, I didn't need to go to the main menu. I'm going to do that differently. We'll settle on the southern one first. Because it requires some TLC. Oh, they gave us a map, huh? Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Experience, good. What would happen? You out there, you get your exploration. Or navigation as it were. Because when you settle the first time. Oh look at that, they're like everything along here is amazing. Not true, but I approve. I approve of your enthusiasm, friend. When you settle the first town, you don't you get a message from the locals. About how taking their land. That they're okay with you taking their land. This time. You know, we can share. We all get along nicely. And then it gets a little uppity after that. Hello, friends. Now, you guys, there we go. See, they commented, hmm, we're okay with you here, sort of, for a while. But be nice. We'll build that. <laughs> Didn't get along nicely. Exactly. Uh, take that guy out. Running across the river might get us hurt a little more, but... Not, not so it matters that much. There. And we were going with crosses, I believe. You guys have some more. Sea travel bonuses. We have 150 bucks. Per... 39, huh? Farewell. Um, I'll head you right back here. Because we can, and we can make stuff relatively quickly there. Okay, you're going to get us some lumber to start with. We have a um, food spot there for an expert farmer. We have a tobacco planter we need. Strangely enough, this is a farmer, not a tobacco planter, which is a little confusing. Great agreement. Thanks, buddy. How much are you worth? 630, 667. That's a couple of units. orders. Uh, and you're sitting at 7.5? Yeah. Good. That's enough, friend. Enough. That'll do, Donkey. Uh, yeah, you gotta wait until your pier is made. That, and make the pier. There. 
Meet the neighbors. Hmm. Well, unit experience is okay. Uh, do we want to train this guy? No, we don't. Not at all. Not at all. I have a treasure. Yield no control yields. Off. Run around and explore the world. So you should probably train, dude. The treasure. Nine hundred that time, nice. Cashing in from the new world. Big money machine, 540 bucks. There's another political refugee. Or now met. Oh wait, it's the same same thing as we started that way. Uh oh. Integer? It's a vintner. Isn't that isn't the word that seems like it's spelled wrong. Do we want a renowned medic, a vintner, free colonist? Free colonist to get him. There's a um that make very much it. shift. I take seventy five. Is celebrating our first trip. Eleven bucks left. Well, that's not a lot. Let him heal just the one turn. Just a free thinking man. Gonna make everybody happy back home. All right, let's see what we end up. Revolting slaves. I don't have to agree about them. Shoot out of the OK Corral there for a moment. 7.1, they had almost no, took almost no damage. Uh, unfortunately, did not capture. Like the start. Oh, there's a up there. What must happen? I can't, I can't move on to there with that. Nice and close to camp, too. Like it. Swoosh around the storm. There. Oh, we got a trader? Okay, that's good. Expert trader for free. Right in here, friend. Good. Unload. Uh, oh, I can't use that to, tra to trade with. Um, we can build. We got hemp here. You bring it with us. New world. Part of the old world. Uh, and you. Okay, you're going to be. Big north. Right? That was what? Or minor, I think. And I should remember. Alright. Oh, good. Probably get to get to bed soon. <laughs> you are going to have to work in town doing something productive. We don't have the space camp. We don't even have the village it made yet. Nice. Well. No, no, no. No, no. Both of you work there. Get it done in two turns. I like this. This works for me. Um, what do we do? Oh yes, glorious routes to Asia. Gotcha. Oh my God! Seriously, <laughs> like the number of times we've been hit. I'm reloading. The number of times we've been hit with the these. <laughs> The, 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 absolutely silly. All right. Over here again. <laughs> Vintager? I thought it was a vintner. Unless, unless there's multiple terms. That doesn't make sense, yeah. though. I have 
always heard of it as a vintner. In fact, I've met vintners. <laughs> Maybe I was just being a dummy and calling them wrong. Uh, we got a mercenary instead. Hmm. Uh, uh, not great. Dang it. That's so weird. Like, he had full health. And every other time I've hit that, I've let it slide because it took off half his health and he had to spend some time healing. But come on. Uh, you have. You can load the hemp. Then you can. Never mind, then you can go up here. Fine, you are gonna go work here. You can go to work there as well. One turn to finish the village hall. Oh, uh, yeah, that's too bad. That time we get 93 bucks. That's just a slap in the face. Uh, okay. Hi, Amuga. Here you go. No, we'll peacefully talk to them. That's fine by me. Um. My goodness. This is the be the the worstest luck of the draw. Oh, I missed that. Just terrible rolls so far. On this map. Terrible rolls. You go learn some farminess. You guys are just a defender, so I guess you just defend. Merge. Sleep. You can trade. Good. We'll take... Uh, we'll go with the cotton and the fur. Two bucks, cool. Up north. There's the Swedes this time. Ah, there's a ranger. I like this. Very much. He an expert? Yeah, no, he's okay, You guys can train to be a fisherman here. Yeah, the idea that this this combination seems to be a better start because we can get um, a settler. Uh, on, uh, storage house. We need we need a dock. Get making the rope works, but we need to hemp to do that. Well, we can get hemp. Can we get hemp here? Actually, get here. Okay. Um. Hundred bucks chapel or the tavern. Let's chapel again. Look, the French didn't show up this time. That's that's positive. Uh, we can buy the hemp. We can buy the fur. See, we can get hemp and fur from the locals, right? And we can turn that hemp into sailcloth once we have a dock. Um, we are out of lumber. Unfortunately, the carpenter has to go make the lumber. It's a little weird. I, however, could go in here. What? Why can you not? Colony's in chaos. Nobody will be able to leave before orders are stored. Uh huh. You can't do anything else? Oh, you're doing nothing, anyways. Not generating anything. It's a chaotic moment. Uh, let's sail around. Uw commando. Not sure where to put this guy. 
Middle of the walkway? You're the first to build five abbeys. We'll get right on that, friend. Thanks for focusing on the important things there, Commander in Chief. Yeah. Great noble lord of Oh right, the sweets start with a Hardy, he's a hardy pioneer. Make a difference. Indigo planter. Eight. Iedereen aanwezig. Um No. There. Okay, we have only 93 bucks left. Um don't think we can get five furs are worth five. What? What? I was getting 93. Oh. Why does he say that's too expensive? Charge me two bucks for those, does he? he does. Get then. You jerk. See what I care. Discover the maps. We have gotten like every possible map we can get, I think. This is absurd. Oh boy. Very, very uh, tough draws on some of these. Um, I guess we can trade you. Oh, they're looking to buy trade goods. That's nice. 93 bucks. Is he going to let me buy the fur? Huh. Oh, went through that one shipwreck. There's our farmer. And who's this? Expert trapper. Okay. Over here, get the. I think he's an ore miner training, yeah, something like that. Snipe the hardy pioneer. Um, I, I haven't thought about it because there is a, a technical prohibition, like you can't declare war at a certain point, so I'm not sure how far along that is, but that can be done, so I'll check. Um, we're just giving it. Gain some more experience. We have very experienced sailors. Ah, Kraken! How many bloody maps can they give me? Well, at least we found a new place. <laughs> Look at this. What a... Outrageous. Oh, that is a big mother. Look at that whale. That's a whale of a whale. You can see him just as you zoom in there. Another uh, landmass over here, too. Okay, our farmer. And are, are we done with the riot, this riotous behavior over here? Probably, eh? How much food are you going to produce there, bud? Nine food. All right. Um, fortunately, you can build bells. We need a lumberjack is what we need. He's going to have to lumberjack for us instead. Bad. We will get the food going though. Our, far our expert farmer came home just in time to lumberjack. Docks in three. Clever, Oxy. On us still. Oh. Yeah. Did not mean to move him. Not at all. More exploring. As will be a veteran. Monies. Yeah. Offended the native attack? What? Seriously? Ukumando. Stop it. Jeez. Iedereen aanwezig. Ik wacht op uw orders. We want him to sentry there. Is there a sentry option? No, there's. Fortify. You have a talk to the neighbors. Expert miners.
The dice roll is next to none. It's very impressive. I don't like it at all. <laughs> it's been terrible. Uh, more cotton and fur, sure. 104 bucks to pop us off. 89 hemp, 150, and 116. Lots of exploring to be had over here. I think we'll bring this guy back, though. Now, fishing boats would require the cloth and stuff. Um, or else to get the stables, we don't really need that. Um, food-wise, food-wise, or growth-wise, I guess. What's our plan? How do we growth this? Um... The units extra two percent damage per turn. Such well as happiness and health. Um, hold on. What do we need here? If we do have the storehouse, orange chamber. Oh, maybe storage for our food supplies. Sergeant. Rest. Burn. There's 10% uh, um 10% of food after growth. Plus one food, less happiness. Yeah. Let's do that. Oh no, we need tools for that. 13 tools though. Not bad. Blacksmith we can make. We have to import some ore. Or we could go with a um, back a weaver. Makes hemp here. Right. We do make hemp. Oh. We can make hemp here. That's good. Because to make one of these dudes into a settler. Oh, we can't see it there. We need. Uh, 30 sailcloth, 30 tools, and 30 horses. I'm going to bring this guy back. Through the deep blue sea. We haven't explored all this coastline. Got your expert miners there. Scoot over this way then. What moet er gebeuren? Move him closer so I can see what's going on there. Oops, straight into straight into the storm. Nicely done, genius. Nicely done. Yeah, I've never built the point chamber before, actually. Makes sense in this context. But hey, this is the most experienced ship ever. You could you could have a thousand more gold. It's busy getting experience. Talk. Go farmer. Go ahead and go down there and probably build. Rest up, heal up, repair your ship a little bit. Some money. Locals, hemp, and 500 bucks. What moet er gebeuren? Hey. Growth, growth, growth. Growth, growth. 
Hmm. Well. Yeah, I might have to buy some tools initially, yeah. Most likely. Local hunter, can I just catch around? Like, seriously? How many bloody maps can we get? We've got an experience and maps, like, probably three quarters of the time. And the only thing we really need is money. Guard. Um, I bet you don't have anything to trade. Uh, it'd be hemp and cotton, huh? Is have grapes, so it won't matter. Home. Clever, Oxy. And an expert trapper, 120 bucks. We had 881. What's Europe got to offer right now? Uh, prospector would be great. Renowned medic. A colonist. Vendor, free colonist, blacksmith. Okay. Let's stop the unit from asking for a visitor return. What is the sleep? The... My guard. Oh no no, that guard is are you talking about the this one? Because he's this guy's a veteran dragoon. So that gives him a 15% combat bonus when he's inside friendly territory. Wild animals have been spotted nearby. There's sharks off the coast. Little swimming. Chitosis in the water. What is this? A cougar. A cougar. Oh, uh, not a cougar anymore. Older than she looked, didn't she? Sail right on into port here. Check our stockpile. Successful hunting. Let's clear what? Really wish that message was message would. Ah, 32 bucks from the cougar. Gotcha. Um, we'll take, we'll take the hemp. No, we're going to leave the hemp behind for the, uh, well, oh, he's, he's working. We'll sell the hemp then. We are one turn from having the needed sailcloth. That's great. One chamber in two turns requires 13. Uh, okay. You go here, get some lumber. You go over here and get some food. Good. And you sail home. You could. Need a tobacco planter, and there's none, none visible on it, is there? Planter. Bad. Hmm. Back into town, fill your sir. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna bring him over here. And he's gonna explore the next continent. Get him exploring that uh, that land mass there, and get some coin out of that. That'd be good. <laughs> good morning, Nikolai. Having a long night? Going to bed soon is what I'm doing. Heck, it's already 1.30. You are correct. Um, I like the idea of $150. <laughs> Those guys. What does it take to make one of these guys into a settler? Well, it's three thousand dollars to like buy the settler. Orders. What if I make him into a settler? Settler, eleven hundred eighty-five. Settler, eleven hundred eighty-five. 
yeah, like really good, maybe? That'd be great. Let me buy some. Oh, not quite, eh? Big bad. A second. Why not? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100. What I want. Done. Settler on board. Settler on board. Head off to the new world. Correct. Oh, but. It's only 2530. Well, there you go. It's still yesterday. Spent two hours rerolling maps. I think it was more like an hour and 53 minutes. But who's counting? Painful. Well, this was painful. Why do you have to remind me of these traumas? Oh, so uh, together. You can uh, wait there for a bit. Thousand goods traded. Hemp, cotton, yeah, don't we all? You are now waiting four turns, and you need the tools. Go there, get that baby done. Um, you're in here. You in here. Jack, minus one, minus one. You're making uh, sailcloth. Probably good now for sailcloth. We could go to making more of those. Um, not bad. Some more people. Train oil prices have fallen. Hell, I quit. Vermin got into the granary at Fort Christiana. All the food stored was ruined. Aw, oh, that's too bad. We didn't send them over, I promise. Innocent as the driving snow. Or however that phrase goes. Alright, so this is important. Let's get up here. These guys over here actually want the item, but... Where are we gonna... Oh, they got their first... their expansion in. Where are we going to settle up here? We have two settlers. I'm thinking one needs to be in here for the ore. It can be coastal, but where? Anything up here is going to cost us to settle for sure. So maybe we take. I got it. Our dude here and settle in here because I don't think that will be claimed land at all. I think we can get that place settled without conflict. Then the question lies: Do we, yeah, if we settle here, the lands, will, the borders will touch? Settle in here? No, no. I think we settle where we were going. Watch that storm, Mister. Question is, where? Ericsville is the name of the settlement, isn't it? Oh no, we renamed it again. That's right, we restarted like for the 14th time. The day only advances when you sleep in an own bed. <laughs> I love the cutscene play exactly. I understand. I totally understand. Uh, can't you just not care about some things? They don't. Uh, well, they may not attack you with one settler, no. I don't, however, want them joining up with the Swedes. Um. We'll pop in here and send the settler through. Where do we put this guy? Have you hit like in a video yet? I don't know. Stream elements. You have you hit like in the video yet? Who's that? Firebrand preacher. Ethan. I got 
We're, we're perfectly peaceful walking through. Now, this guy. Question is, where do we settle? You guys are wanting to buy the other thing. Can I trade with you and purchase stuff? Stone, hemp, fur, and hemp. Oh, we don't have any money. We get 98 bucks. Oh, wait, we'll go around there. Sell that stuff. Now, if I settle here, I do believe. Yeah. The only spot that I noticed that we could settle, and the reason I did this one first, is because we can settle this one without uh, encroaching on their territory at all. Total freebie. Now, that's an indentured servant, so he's not going to be great at uh, crafting things here, but it, it's settled, and that's the big kick. Got to get things settled before the others come, come by. Uh, wagon train or guns? We're going to go with the wagon train. We will need one. Um, however, settling, I think we'll go here. Oh, wait. I don't think we can go here. I think we have to go like, down further. On the ore. Maybe. This hardy pioneer is wanting to build to a new home. Fine. I'm curious. Hold on. Save for a second and see if can I. Is this a unit? Can I attack him? I can go to war with him. Okay. Holy crap! That's one beastly hardy pioneer. <laughs> I didn't actually want to fight. I'm just curious if I can. Because there's an early, like limit to um to combat like you're, you're not able to there's no way two tiles between i think it's three tiles between but yeah, yeah can't settle here uh it says cannot found within three plots of the settlement within so one two three one uh from here is one no that's yeah there's the settlement one two three so we'd have to be down here or here <coughs> If we're here, we're inland. If we're here, we're on the ore. Could go down here. A lot of desert land. I kind of like the idea of here better. Um, yeah, let's go on the ore. A solid, hefty helping of ore going right away. Mother tr Wait, there, what? Mother Church is pleased with the progress of spreading Christianity to the New World. We therefore offer you for only $2,390 to send the bishop to the New World to guide faithfuls. Holy crap. A bishop? Just bring him here personally? Oh, a bishop. Not, not the archbishop. Not like... Not quite, not quite what I thought it was. A okay, master blacksmith is the one that's coming in here, which is great. We'll build this settlement here. Lovely. 288 bucks. That's it, huh? Uh, hold on. Um, where's our ship? Oh, it's right up here, actually. That's exactly what we needed to do. I can go in here and I can sell these. Nice. Accepted the offer. What will happen? Here. Here. Settle. 188 bucks. Good deal. Fort Orange. Indeed it is. Village Hall. That's it. We can't do any other. Um, we can go fight the wolves. Nice. Okay, what can we buy from you? Furs and sugar. Hmm. Except. I will sail the loop around and grab, uh, grab stuff on the way. 
Yeah, I can't make it. I can't queue it up yet. I was going to actually queue up the stockade immediately, but I can't. I'm hunting wolf right now. It's not working. They're running away from me. Oh, I only have 27 bucks. What the heck? Victor, hello and thank you for the subscription. Er, er, I'll accept the 11 bucks. Uh, and I'm going to sail down south. I'm not going to sail down south because I'm not clicking right there. We go. We'll sail down south, grab that guy, dump him off on the other side, and then uh, go back home. Although that's a lot of time before with not with not so much money. We could sell the fly. We've constructed the blacksmith's house. That's the blacksmith up here. Ooh. Five red pepper. And four ore? What? Oh. He's just making it. Um, you should probably carpenter for a bit here, bud. Could maybe you know, get that hole done in less than a year. Less than five years. Guy yeah, is a defender, so he's, he's military only. So enjoy the little things. Um. Oh yes, hands you a nail. You're like, yay, we got our first nail. Okay, down here. We could get the wagon train. We could also get a coastal ship. Wait, why can we not? Where did they put the stuff? Oh, they used it. They used up some of the tools. You're going to make tools, dude. I don't have ore, do I? Bugger me sideways. Uh, I can't even get ore here. That's helpful. Um, I used it to make... What did I make? We just finished off something that used them up. A windmill. Land tiles plus one food. Really? Never seen that building before. That's fun. There's the tavern. Uh, dyers. Weaver. Storage. We need a storage house. Tanner Rum Distillery, Church, Butcher, Armory, Tobacconist, Schoolhouse, Cabinet Makers, Windmill, what do we make? Oh yes, the corn something. There it is, the corn chamber. Uh-huh. Increase our food to break even on the food now. That's something, I guess. Well and happiness. It's not a bad idea, but... I think we go to getting some points here for a bit. And... Pioneers would be huge. So would the galleons. You're gonna go in here and you're gonna stand around. Up you over this side. New Year exploration. And I think we need to finish the day, the day right there. Probably far enough. It's been a hefty helping of a day. So. Nice little treasure. It's gonna park. <laughs> Those are nowhere to take it. But. Um, you can fortify yourself right in there. Hold back those bad guys in the north. They're just going to sail around and plant towns. But we still have to outgrow them. We have to plop down another six or eight towns as quickly as we can. Uh, yeah. But basically it's like 2,000? 1,000? 2,000? Yeah. Per ship. Well, or per unit. Well, we could. Had a galleon, we'd have 3,000 there. We need 4,500 to get a galleon. This place could, on the other hand, make a small trading ship. Oh, a fishing boat. 
not a bad idea. No, I think the coastal fit, uh, coastal shipping vessels, or yeah, the coastal shipping vessels are the best choice. Even a small one. That allow us to do like fairly quick trade around things. Much quicker than that. Well, no, the roads are going to be vital. If we have a road through here, it's three turns to get up to Fort Orange. So. All right, let's save things up there for the day. Super long stream. I love this game. <laughs> um. Yeah, then run. There we go. Well. I, uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out. Thanks, uh, Eric, for the inspiration for the future. Um, maybe we should have called it Eric Island. That's what it is, Eric Island. But thanks, guys, so, for all the comments, all the feedback, all the interactions. Much appreciated. I wouldn't have stuck up, been up so bloody long if it wasn't all your fault. <laughs> thanks, everybody. Have yourselves a great rest of the day. Tomorrow morning, new content, another four hours or so. New content hits on the YouTube tubes here and over on Army Mom Strong's channel doing some double trouble. So check it out. Uh, that's all you get to know about until it's up. So thanks, everybody, for joining me. Have yourself, Death Island. <laughs> Have yourselves a great rest of your day. We'll see you in game.